Hey guys, welcome to the stream. I thought today we'd play some Chaos Dwarfs since we haven't actually played them since they first came out. So last time I played as Drazalath the Ashen, so I think this time we'll play as Astrograth Iron Hand. I'm not super fond of Zatan the Black, which is why I decided not to pick play as him. So in terms of settings, uh, I'll leave the end game enabled, but just on default. I don't like end game crises in this game. Just makes my just I just don't enjoy it. So AI stat modifier, very hard battle difficulty, legendary difficulty. Cool. Let's get into it. Chorf, chorf, chorf. Cool. Let's get into it. <laughs> Come for Papa Astro Astrogoth, stay for the rant against the Ace policy. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing new to cover today. There's really no need to even talk about Creative Assembly. Unless someone's got, like, a an interesting question. Um, do this back to streaming regularly? Temporarily. I'm temporarily back. So it's not permanent. So I think that... Astrogoth has a, a slightly easier start position than Drazoath, but I think overall his faction just isn't quite as powerful, because in my opinion Drazoath the Ashen is the most powerful of, of the three Chaos Dwarf Legendary Lords, but not by much. When Ikaclaw, I was actually considering playing Ikaclaw again, I was considering it. Alright, 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 alright. So, we got a hero. What's the trait on this one? Come on, good. Be good. Temperamental is pretty good. Because speed is very useful for these guys. Mm. So yeah, Great Skull Lakes. Now, let's have a look at our situation here and decide whether or not we want to put it as a factory or... What? Just gotta get my head around this again. So our labor at the moment is good. Yeah, we could definitely shift. Yeah, we, could, we should probably go for um, mining. Okay, let's do that. The good traits are the ones that work, yeah. <laughs> Uh, what are you gonna do? Managed to get uh, shows a change for a tenor, which I can accept for a DLC. Yeah, tenors. Yeah, well worth it, I think. Yeah, ten dollars. That's that price is right. Okay, so we want to fight this manually. So we start off with two units of Chaos Wolf Blunderbusses. They've got two units of Goblin Archers. In terms of range. We got a few Laborers. Time for some Bad Santa. Yeah, he is a bit Bad Santa looking, isn't he? No, yeah. You think Microsoft is going to buy Sega CA after all? Uh... Pfft. Maybe? <laughs> like, I don't know. Maybe. It's a big maybe. I just heard a rumor about it. I wouldn't put too much stock into it, and I don't think it's really worth discussing any further. Until some more concrete evidence comes out. Alright, so... Let's, let's see, what are we, what are we doing? Coded to Kill did a $2 super chat. Hello, Legend. Any plans for this campaign? Yes, my plan is to win. Yeah, just just play it, basically. I find that theme campaigns aren't really that fun these days. I just, just, just play it. Just do what I want to do, and if I don't have fun, I'll change what I'm doing. But yeah, I find rigid goals to be a little bit on the annoying side, because sometimes an obstacle gets in, the, gets in the way and just makes it really not feasible and just sells the whole thing so I just don't bother. Alright, I'm gonna put that over here. Although the blunderbusses would take out the Black Orcs really quite easily. Let's 
sein See that that killed a couple of them. Let's let's go for the goblin archers and see it. I know this spell is really good overcaster, but obviously I can't do that while at rank one. Kinda misses a little bit. Stand right there. Vili Puisasalo did a 5 euro super chat. Hey Legend, what's your opinion on Marcus Wolfhard's campaign in Warhammer 3? It's a lot better than what it was in Warhammer 2. Still not my favorite, but it's better than what it was. In fact, I might cover Marcus Wolfhard again soon. Could you do a Christmas special Stellaris stream? I'll tell you what. No. <laughs> yeah. Just, just no. Move back a little bit more. Well, they sorted that out. I don't know why they charge in on my bull centaurs. Oh, they actually shoot at Astrogoth. Hmm. Just run right through their lord here. Don't want to fight him. All these black orcs to the castle plunderbusses there. Yeah, bull centaurs absolutely wreck house, and they got twenty five percent, no, fifteen percent ward save. Will there be another hot seat campaign? Yes, in two days' time there should be another hot seat campaign. Oh, we got a few super chats here. Uh, Rafael Banker, I hope I pronounced that right, did a PLN ten super chat. Hello, night. Nick, ni nice to say to Kator streams three days. Cheers. <laughs> I'm sure you did your best, dude. I appreciate it. Thanks for the super chat. Um, Dimitar Karlukov did a BGN20 super chat. Legend, if you would do a dwarf stack that resembles the regular dwarf stack, would you mix the artillery or just go for the mortars? Thanks for all the great work throughout the years. Um, no, I look, I wouldn't try to play the dwarfs, the chaos dwarfs like they were regular dwarfs. I, I wouldn't. That doesn't really play into their strengths. That's not what I would do. Oh no, I took a casualty. Uh, thanks Super Chat though. So these Black Orcs here should get absolutely wrecked the moment they come into contact with their range. Yep. These orc boys get too close. I don't think they're going to. See, one of the things that makes the um, the blunderbuss so powerful, actually, is that they actually knock down units as well. Slows down them on their approach. Legend has Astrogoth beard? Nah, that's too much beard for me. I'm not that old yet. Maybe one day. That'd, that'd take a lifetime to grow that. Alright, did they actually nerf Blunderbusters between release and now? Uh, I don't think so. 
No. Gotta pay more attention to that one. Seems this guy's able to kill them in one hit. Oh yeah, that actually makes sense. 400 damage. Yeah. I gotta be a bit more careful. No big deal. It's not gonna make any difference. Dimitar Karlikov did I become a member for 37 months. I'm asking because the range units don't seem to mix well with the monsters because of friendly fire. <sighs> you, you gotta figure out your own balancing with your armies. But yeah, you, you don't really want your blunderbusses shooting into monster units. You just, you just gotta figure that stuff out. But no, I would not try to play the Chaos Dwarfs as if they were regular dwarfs. But at the same time, I usually don't put monsters and infantry mixed. Depends on the situation. Monsters and missile infantry mixed. Because uh, monstrous infantry don't make good frontline units for um, missiles. Because, yeah, you will get a lot of friendly fire. Especially with inaccurate weapons like Chaos Dwarf Blunderbusses. But, yeah, thanks for the membership. Monchrom did a 1 euro super chat. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. As always. Make sure you kill him or else we're not going to get that precious loot money. Come on, kill him. Come on. I reckon I could have done that with zero casualties, but I just didn't pay attention enough. It's a pretty easy fight. Hello, a Legend of War. I see you play as Chorps. Do you have a moment to talk about our true lord and savior, Grimir? I will even put your name in our Great Book of Grudges. Do, do you think that you wouldn't get put in the Great Book of Grudges for not even spelling his name right? <laughs> you're, trying to, you're trying to dunk on me, you can't even spell the fucking name right. Uh, no one, no one did a $10 super chat. Hey legend, thanks for teaching an old dog new tricks, been watching since 2019. Alright, dude. I'm glad to have you here. Thanks for super chat. I don't think we're gonna need replenishment. I will take the money. Oh, should I have taken the labor? I gotta remember that labor's important to take as well. Still got some, but yeah, I should have had attention to that. All right, and then levels up. Yep, more health for you. That's good. All right, with Astrogoth getting Dark Sacrifice, that is absolutely insane. So we do want Root Marcher. When do we? I'm getting lags on this stuff. Yeah, rank 12. Yeah, grab grab Root Marcher first. We're not going to come into contact with anything super dangerous. What is the website you recommend for DLC and other games? Well, my recommendation is to shop around, but I recommend Instant Gaming and uh, Games Planet. That's what I recommend. Um, if you want to use other websites like G2A, it's all good. I just want you guys to get a good good deal. I'm not actually partnered with um, Instant Gaming anymore, but I still recommend them. They stop paying me! That's no, fine. Those things usually don't last forever. Have you had a chance to check the population mod? Dude, you ask me this every stream. Just, can you chill for one stream? <laughs> no, I haven't had a chance to check it. Mon Monchrom did a 5 euro super chat. What do you think about allied recruitment? I think the unit limit is too low to be functional. Through the mobile UI for Super Chat is really confusing. 
Uh, so yeah, sorry about that. Um, well, I can't do anything about the UI. Um, no, I think the way that allied recruitment is fine. Like, what, do you want to be able to spam my whole army with allied recruitment? Uh, that could be interesting for specific factions. What if Dogs of War had higher allied rec What if they had no cap to allied recruitment? You aren't partnered with Instant Gaming anymore? I saw Shadows have changed for 18 bucks there, which isn't bad. Sorry for mis mentioning it. Um, yeah, look, buy it wherever you want. Like, I still like Instant Gaming. They're just not paying me anymore. So now that, now that I'm not getting paid for Instant Gaming, I still recommend Instant Gaming. I still use the website. They're just not paying me anymore. <laughs> so, that's how you know I wasn't selling out. See, selling out is where you... you okay, I'll give you another example. I had a, um, a sponsorship offer today. Uh, not today, yesterday. Was it today? Uh, for War Thunder. And I turned it down because... Um... Um, yeah, anyway, let's just move on. At what price do you think the shadows of change will be worth it and broke? Well, that's going to... Okay. Everybody's going to have a different value to it. Some people will, will willingly pay $40 for that DLC. Some people won't even pay $5 for it. So I think a fair price for that DLC is 15 American dollars. Given given the amount of content that's in it and the quality of it and given inflation as well, I think $15 is fair. $25 was asking way too much. Yeah, that one did better than the other ones that we're doing. Would you recommend CD keys as well? I haven't used CD keys, but if you get a good experience out of it, by all means, share your experiences. I think um, Humble Bundle is another good one. Uh, Kinguin, that's another good one, I think. I've worked with Kinguin a long time ago. They're pretty good. So, you know, shop around. Find yourself a good deal. But yeah, I'm not partnered specifically with, any, um, with anyone at the moment. Uh, I sometimes work with Games Planet. But I don't get paid for that. I, um... Yeah, Games Planet's a bit of an interesting situation because they're officially partnered with CA, uh, with Sega. And if I've got a deal to give you guys, I always... If I'm going to do an affiliate link, I'm not going to take a commission, right? Because that way I can give you guys the best price. Because usually it's like 1% commission or some shit like that. I'm like, whatever, I don't care about that. But yeah, uh, whenever, um, what I found out was that, uh, Games Planet, when they do... Uh, sales, they're actually selling those DLCs, or whatever, those keys to you, at a loss. And the whole purpose of it is actually to get people onto the website so you, you know, buy other stuff. But they actually have, their margins are so low that they actually lose money every single time they sell you a key. Apparently. And I think that's why Creative Assembly and Sega would much prefer you guys buy keys from those sort of websites because their cut is way better than what they get with Steam. I believe Steam takes 30%. Show him. Yeah, like I said, just be a smart shopper, shop around, find the best deal. It's not always on Steam. You can find 100% legitimate keys out there, or you can even find illegitimate keys out there. Just, uh, just find a good deal. I don't want you guys to miss out on good content just because you've been priced out of it because of greedy developers. I just tried SFO for the first time and it's really good. Any plans for stream? I'm, I'm considering it. I'll think about it. Think about it. Yeah. Gog is pretty good. Yeah. 
Go for it. I think the only one that people really are say that it's dodgy is like um, G2A. But man, the prices on G2A are definitely the best. But that's because dodgy as fuck, that website. That website is so shit that they'll actually charge you for not logging into your account <laughs> for a certain amount of time. But man, you buy a game at 95% off. You can argue with those prices, even if they are going to be scumbags about it. Then again, I don't know. I don't know. Pretty executive, you mean? Yes. Sorry, that's what I meant. Yeah, I never, I never mean to like have a go at the the actual people making the games. They don't, they don't make the decisions on that kind of stuff. Yeah. Come on, I want to be using the blunderbusses. Come on in. Yeah, I haven't used um, G2A in a really long time, actually. Whenever I want to buy something, I usually check out Instant Gaming first or Games Planet. Whatever you guys prefer. Yeah, Legend of the Chorps the most well done race in the game, or am I tripping? Um, uh, no, I, I don't I think they're well done. I don't think they're the most well done. Uh, personally, I feel like Corn is done the best <laughs> in Warhammer 3. Then I would say Tomb Kings are pretty good. I love the Tomb Kings. It's a shame they don't perform that well as streams, because like I'd play Tomb Kings a lot more if they did. Um, Skaven are really well done. But don't get me wrong, the, the Chaos Dwarves are a top tier race for fun. They did a good job with it, which is why people swallowed the price increase for it. Because the... Uh, they definitely upped the price for the Chaos Dwarfs, but it was fair-ish. But charging the same price for Shadows of Change as Chaos Dwarfs? Oh my god, I don't know. I don't know how you can justify that. Risk a guess which units might get added in Thrones of Decay? Well, don't forget, I don't really know Tabletop, so I have no idea. Uh, Bile Trolls. It's the only one I can really think of. God, just wanted to get rid of the archers because they're the only ones that can outrange the blunderbusses only by a little bit. And then just let the blunderbusses sort of out. So Astrogoth's Doomstack is one of the most powerful in the game, which is a bunch of bull centaurs. I'm going to try to get them as quickly as I can, because they are stupidly powerful. Uh, Velstead became a member for 11 months. Uh, you're my favorite channel since Warhammer 1. Just a huge thank you. Always happy to watch a stream of yours. Alright, thanks dude. I appreciate that. I'm glad I'm your favorite. See, the AI, they love to chase your fastest unit because they needed to get rid of those archers first. They haven't really advanced over here so much. Not a huge fan of this spell. I don't think it's that good. Cool, I didn't take a single cash at that time. Nurgle trolls will mean you can utilize the Chaos Gift of Missile Res for Nurgle units on trolls. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. But yeah, if you took regular trolls and like give them the gift of Nurg uh, Mark of Nurgle and turn them into Bile Trolls, I think that'd be cool. So that'd be for the Warriors of Chaos. So Nurgle would just recruit them normally. 
Because Nurgle doesn't have access to any trolls, demons of Nurgle. So you just you just get them straight away. You wouldn't have to get regular trolls and then upgrade them. If the Tomb Kings could confederate with our mods, they'd be tops for me. Yeah, I mean, I understand why they can't confederate. Okay, so hang on, I gotta remember which is which. So, Outpost, I believe, that will... Yeah, that'll generate raw materials. Yeah, that's what I want here. Uh-huh, build that later, that's not really useful right now. Workload plus 300. Because, yeah, we want to get those raw materials up as quickly as possible. We need those. Uh, okay, okay. So next stop would be Fort Dosnyvort, whatever. And we'll turn this into a factory because it's likely to come under attack from Grimgore. Well, well, we'll see. Where should I go? Oh, okay. Alright, what are we going to recruit? We should get... Alright, so I can recruit a Bale, a Great Taurus. That's a good unit. Should definitely get whatever Chaos Dwarf units we, we can. Let me have a look at the Hellforge and see what I can purchase. Because I've got a little bit. I can't purchase anything. It's too expensive. Yeah, let's start going down the magic line. Alright, we'll get these... Oh, right, they use up the same capacity. Oh, okay. Alright, I oh, I usually prefer to go with regular Chaos Dwarfs over Great Weapons, because shields are really useful in this game. And then we get a Great Taurus, and then a Orc Laborer. Now, another thing that I do with Chaos Dwarfs, since they don't have supply lines, is recruit accompanying generals. Now, we've already got a Spellcaster, so I don't need that. Although, his ma magic at the moment isn't actually all that good. But let's get an Overseer. Overseers are particularly good, I think. That's That hero recruit rank doesn't work, does it? Hang on, what have I got in here? Oh, yeah! I forgot! I got my Grudge Killers. Yeah. <laughs> I was setting up a video a long time ago to show you guys something. And uh, I got like 90% of the way there, and then I just went, Bah, I can't be bothered, it just took too long. I spent weeks on it, and I just gave up. Um, Moncrom did a 5-year super jet. What, what, sorry, what would you think about a 10-unit camp for allied recruitment? That would make military alliances worth it. I think for roleplay paythroughs, it'd be, be nice. It'd be nice. Um, it's, yeah, the, fine. I don't have a problem with it. It's not really a mechanic that I lean into too much. Um, I don't care what whatsoever. Personally, I'm not a fan of limiting factors of anything, but uh, I don't know. There could be balancing issues with it. All right, so let's get selfish. Hang on. Which one was really good? It was a trait. It was an exiled extra research rate. Hang on. Why are they so expensive? Sixteen seventy-seven. Oh, they're only. Oh, right, right. Because of the experience. Because considered as good, but I don't really need that right now. Because, yeah, if I if I load a character, Grudge Killer, I can reduce the construction cro cost. Do I have a considered in here? Also, these are Sorcerer Profits. I know I've got some Overseers in here. Greedy. I saved a lot of them. Uh, there's Cons... Hang on, what was it again? Cons no, it was... It was Considered. Yeah, let's get... Let's get that, but over here. Why? Okay, that's just... I named them all Grudge Killers, the one that have it. Could have sworn I had at least one. Alright, I'll just get... I'll just get this exiled one. I think that's alright. Research rate, yeah. Okay, now that's not going to apply this turn, but... That extra research rate... Oh, it has actually already applied. That's good. Cool. They all killed Thorgrim. Any of them that I named Grudge Killer? Yeah. Okay, what am I going to research first? It's been a while since I played this. Uh, yeah. 
when playing on legendary difficulty, public order is pretty damn important. There's a lot of good text in that line. Okay. Anything in global that we can do? No. Alright. Oh, we don't have much cash. So that'll give us a little bit of money, but we do need raw materials. Then over here, because yeah, we need raw materials in order to build this building here. That's why I want to focus on it. Also, I don't mind doing this, sacrifice the Tsar Nagrin, because we've actually got too many laborers here. So let's pop one of these down. Get some Conclave influence. That should have actually given us 11, right? Did it? I don't know. And then... This one here... We don't have growth as this faction. Yeah, just go with that. So that is... Alright, that's giving us access to Bull Centaur renders. Okay, I'll keep that building there. Alright, alright, alright. And let's move on. Hang on, let's do some diplomacy. Clan Ferric. Uh, do I want to be non-aggression with Clan Ferric? I, I lead. I mean, they're gonna betray me, surely. I really should prioritize dealing with Grimgore, so let's just... Let's not have northern yes, problems yeah. right now. I need to rush Grimgore. What's your recommendation with the layout of the settlements? Usually I go half mining, half weapon fabric for public order reasons. Yeah, I'll be honest, I haven't played Chaos Dwarves in a while. I've kind of forgotten what my layout was. Um, I just buy whatever I need. They actually gave 12 influence. Oh, okay, good. How do you get those laws with the traits already present? So in another campaign... I defeated Thorgrim when they were at rank 1, and Thorgrim was, was the only one in the army, and so they didn't gain a level, and then I saved the character. So I still got to pay a little bit extra for it, but I've got his defeat trait. So Thorgrim's defeat trait is really good for Chaos Dwarves, because it gives you extra research rate and reduced construction cost. There's a little trick that you can do if you do it to the extreme, which I... Was going to make a video on it. I don't know if they may have fixed it, though. Okay. Okay. Corn dog. Corn dog. Alright. Let's head over there. Finish this off. Does it still apply when you disband the Lord? The research rate does, but the reduced construction cost doesn't. So yes. So the trait the trait has now applied. We're up by a hundred up by fifteen percent. So up to uh, hundred and twenty five now. Just realized that I should have waited until this turn. Cause I could have reduced the construction. No, it's not that big of a deal. Next time. Also, uh, let me show you something. I, don't, I, I know I've still got the save file, but let me just show you something. This is what I was working on. I've got to... I have to go back a little bit. This is what I was saving all those characters for. I've got a campaign in here. Okay, ready? See how that's on turn five? <laughs> turn five. Yeah, I was being real shenanigans doing some real dirty shit and I got to this point it was so exhausting I just went fuck it I just don't have the energy for this I wasn't necessarily doing a blitz campaign I was was blitzing but I wanted to showcase some like extreme chaos dwarf cheese and what I did there you can still do now and the reason it took until turn uh, turn five before I started blitzing is because that was the turn I was able to get astrogoths no no not astrogoths um Drazoath's mount. That was what allowed me to do it. That was the earliest I could manage to get it. Alright, we need to fight this manually or else we're going to take too much damage. Oh, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Let me just think about this for a second. What am I going to turn this into? Am I going to go another one of these?
or a factory. Factories are a lot easier to defend than outposts. It would be good to start getting some armaments. How much does it cost to get more... Bull centaurs? Yeah, they're pretty expensive. Alright. I think I will turn into a factory. I can always just convert it later. If you redo some of the campaign reviews, will you talk a bit more about short victory conditions? No, I don't ever spend any time worrying about short victory conditions. I just don't, I just ignore it. They're not very impactful. I get it that some people care about short victory, but it's not something that I focused on. Oh, this is a minor settlement battle. Hmm. This is a very interesting vampire mod. Yes, I've heard of it. I'm looking into it. I'll, I'll think about it. Yeah, getting a lot of requests for campaigns. Obviously can't do them all, but... Just asking me every single day isn't going to help. Alright. Alright, I usually like to advance from here. Man, it's been ages since I've been in this area. Can't believe how long it's been since I played Chaos Storms. I actually really like them. I just haven't played them in ages. Alright, you guys start going and capping stuff. There's nothing particularly fast. We have to watch out for any sort of archers because they massively outrange our poor boys. You go and take out that arrow tower. We're going over there because it's undefended. And you should probably go with them, actually. Actually, you come over here. No, 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 no. Go over here. No, no, yeah, come over here. We need to cast spells on those archers. Because if we can get rid of those bloody archers, then the blunderbusses can rip everything to shreds. I can overcast it now, but I would only do that if there's a big blob. Hey Legend, do you usually go for Gordos? Yeah, Gordos is really good. I, I quite like Gordos. Give him a trash stack. Works quite well. Alright, so they only got one kill. Oh, this guy should actually be coming around here. Oh, no, actually. Uh, just come from where you were and I'll just... You just got a fair bit to walk. I should have actually deployed on the other side in hindsight. Need a bit of a warm up. You get twenty seconds. You'll waste shitloads of their um, their supplies if that happens. Good, they did it. I'm not a huge fan of that spell. Cycle charge with them. Really good against infantry. You don't use melee flies to kill towers normally? Uh, 
Yeah, I, I just did that. Just trying to let the archer shoot. Are the troops as OP when you're playing them as how they are when they're controlled by the AI seem to always need two plus armies against each dwarf army? Yeah, Chaos Wolves are pretty strong. Yeah, they're they're a high tier race. You guys can be able to should be able to shoot that. Yeah, they're definitely a high tier race. That's it. Main thing here, have Astrogoth pinned down the Orc Arrow Boys. And if anyone gets too close, these guys here get involved. Don't really want to use the Laborers, they're just trash. Why are you not continuing any campaigns anymore? You feel like there's no more enjoyment playing after the first few turns? Yeah, pretty much. That's pretty much the case. Yeah, after the first few turns, there's lose interest. I find the late game very boring in Warhammer 3, so I only play the early game. Because at the end of the day, just play for fun. And if you're not having fun, you're just going to burn out. So my thoughts are, I'll play the game in a way that I can enjoy it. And I get it, some people want me to play friggin' 10 episodes in a campaign. It's just not sustainable not sustainable at all. I wish I could do that, but the game is just not in a state where the late campaign is enjoyable at all, so I just don't play it. I don't like endgame crises. I don't like the way the AIs just basically never really form power blocks. This is very unsatisfying after about turn 30. But, you know, the first 30 turns are fun, so that's what I play. So these guys here, yeah, they're getting pretty good kills. Keep it up. Yeah, they just need a nice good angle. And Astrogoth can take plenty of damage of friendly fire, that's not a problem. He's actually considered small. Conpower did an $8 super chat. Hey Legend, maybe Ikaclaw an SFO mod, but give order factions a strong buff for a challenge for your next stream. Could be fun. Um, I'll, I'll think about that. Alright, thanks for the chat. Appreciate it. Okay, let's go through of that. Yeah, these guys are really good at killing generals. <laughs> yeah, that's sure that stupid orc who's boss. Oh, this guy is here. Let's bring him in. Hold on to this position, if we can. You guys go take out those orc boys and capture that point. Are you familiar with any AI mods that allow for late game empires to be formed similar to Warhammer 2? Um, I, I really don't delve too much into mods. I'm the wrong person to ask about mods. I'm really the wrong person. I'll, I'll dabble in mods, like, really... Just, like, a little bit. I just don't spend all day looking at mods to try to fix the game. I get that some people do, but I don't. It's totally fine.
I tell you what, it's a good thing that the modding scene is so, um, so active with Warhammer 3, or else this game would have like half the number of players. Where did you go? Why the hell did you lag back there, dipshit? Good thing these guys are almost broken. When you have a unit selected defending a siege, it gives a build symbol prompt near barricade. Does that do anything? No. Doesn't do anything. Yeah, I remember when I first played the game, I was like, ooh, can it repair it? No, it doesn't do anything. I think we got the army losses. Cool. Alright. Minimal damage there. Mostly done to Astrogoth, but... It's fine. Are the knockdowns on Blunderboss an exception to the whole knockdown means less damage that happens with cav charges? Yes. So, with a cav charge, when it's, when it's dealing with melee, the the knockdown will oftentimes happen first, and when it's on its back, you can't dish out any damage to it. Whereas with missile shots, um, such as blunderbusses or artillery, the damage is inflicted first, and then they fall on the ground. If you disband a hero with an item, will the item be lost? Yes, actually, it will. Are you playing other games at the moment? Yes. I am playing Starfield at the moment. I really like Starfield. Yes, I enjoy Starfield. Do you think more AI confederations would make in-game more challenging? Yes, I think that was one of the things that made a power blocks in Warhammer 2, is that the AI would basically um, consolidate all their races. So the dwarfs would always be um, consolidated under Thorgrim. The Dark Elves would all be consolidated under... Malekith, the High Elves would all be consolidated under um, Tyrion, and then they would have like 70 odd settlements and have like 50 fucking armies, and they would just be really aggressive. Now, you know, turn 100 and you've got like Tyrion has 10 settlements. It's whatever. Alright, I said I was going to make this a factory, didn't I? All right, so we've got this. For the time being, that'll be fine. I don't actually want to start producing... I uh, don't actually want to start producing armaments just yet. But just soon. The main thing here is just to have it as a defensive position. Then, if we have a look at Grimgore, he is at war with... Thinking, I can't go about this. Got these ogres over here. Thorgrim, sorry, um, Grimgore has to be dealt with. But I think if we just rush over to him right now before I built up my armies, that that would probably be a mistake. Best thing to do is catch him as he's made his way down here a little bit. So if we swing around this way and catch his undefended settlements there, that would be ideal, I think. So we'll go for the. This is the saber skin. Yeah, we'll go for them. Because we need time for what's his face to show up. What's the condition for him again? Recruit like a whole bunch of hobgoblins, wasn't it? We haven't got it yet. I think it's like recruit eight hobgoblin units. So we want to recruit. What do we want to recruit? Do like sneaky gits. Could go hobgoblin archers. Yeah, let's go hobgoblin archers. Okay. So I need to keep up, gain experience. Yep. And in the early stages of the game, I really don't care about making too much money. Okay, what are we going to want here? Yeah, I think we want to construct things cheaper. Let's go with that one. So recruit another lord. We get another grudge killer. I think hated is good. I can't remember. Hmm. 
miserly. I just can't remember these off the top of my head. Uh, yeah, it's not very useful. Okay, whatever. The trade is what's needed. And then we've got Astrogoth here. Who we need to rush towards um, Hellhammer. Alright, as of these spells here... Yeah, these two will go. And then I'll probably get Ashstorm. Yeah. Okay, on to Sabre Mountain. Yeah, because they're nice and weak. Unless somebody else declares war on me. Which these guys here might. I mean, look, I mean, they hate me. They're already at war with uh, overlords of Zardog, so I don't think we need to worry about that too much. Why not have Mr. Misley train the hobos? Oh, it's not a terrible idea. Alright, let's, let's have a look at the difference. 525 compared to... It's the same friggin' cost, dude. It's the exact same. Unless that one's not the miserly one. It's the same same cost. I don't think the um, trait has triggered yet. Usually have to wait a turn. Does flaming attacks do extra morale damage, or is it just like flavor of damage like magic damage was in Worma 2? It definitely does not do extra morale damage. What flaming damage does is that if a unit is healing, it halves the amount that it will heal. So if you hit something with flaming damage the moment they pop down a regrowth, that can be very useful. Um, the other thing is that if it has any fire weakness, you will do extra damage to it. If the unit has fire resistance, a flaming attack is actually not preferable to use. So in the case of dwarves, right? right dwarves all have a neat fire resistance due to their black shard armor. So if I had flaming attacks against this dude here, it would only dish out 75% damage. So flaming attacks against dwarves, uh, chaos dwarves, are always detrimental. You should never bring flaming attacks. Unless, of course, you're Imric and you can strip them of their flame resistance. So now we've got research rate of 135. Let me just check some of these first. Labor gain post-battle. These are pretty small benefits. Yeah, that's good because it reduces the upkeep cost of hobgoblins. That's also good. If I recall, there's just some really good ones. Yeah, control all provinces. That's really good for legendary difficulty because your public order buildings suck. And if you want to have labor, you need to be prepared to pay the price for them. All right, let's see if it's updated this turn. So it's 525, and okay, it's cheaper with him this turn. Like I said, just need to turn to update. So we'll have Astrogoth rush over to here. So he'll be able to make the attack next turn. You'll recruit some more Hobgoblin archers, and you will just stand here, it's fine. Oh, minus five, damn it. Do we have channeling stance? No, no, we don't get that with uh, Chaos Wolves. Oh, that's not good. Okay, hang on. I got an idea. Force march back here. Hmm. Yeah, leave this guy here. He might be the one that needs to launch the attack. Okay. Did we get the mission for... Thingy. I didn't seem to get the mission for him. Am I doing... What was the mission for um, Gordas? I'm pretty sure you needed to... You need to build this building, don't you? Or do you need to have it? 
I feel like you need to actually actively build it. I just can't remember how to get Gordas. Because, yeah, Gordas really helps with keeping the um, laborers, uh, not laborers, the uh, hobgoblins in line. Super cheap and everything. Alright, we could upgrade this. Yeah, while they're... Oh, I should have done it before I left. So that'll give us an extra 100 gold per turn, but I, I kind of want to hold on to the raw materials for now. Because 100 gold per turn is not a big deal. Alright, let's move on. Build or upgrade the building? Having it doesn't count. Oh, God. Alright, well then I'll have to demolish the building and then rebuild it. Yeah, we have to build it ourselves. Since we're not going to be doing any more recruiting in this province, that's fine. Yeah, I didn't think I would make it over there, but at the same time, I didn't want to lose precious winds of magic. So this guy here will launch the attack, because it doesn't matter if he's got low winds. Well, actually, it oh, it's went down to minus 10. It got worse. Son of a bitch. Oh, God. That's... I've seen this happen with a lot of people's campaigns where they've where they rely on Astrogoth, but he's got like no winds of magic. Ah, it's not squeaky chat. God damn it. Well Shit, what are you gonna do? Gotta get to Grimgore. Start smashing him as early as possible. Catch him with his pants down. We're just gonna have to suck up the um the the no winds of magic. Because, yeah, we don't have a channeling stance. There is a Tower of Tsar upgrade that can give us Winds of Magic Power Reserve per turn. Alright, so this guy is mostly Hob... Um, Noblars, this will be fine. Takumkaru! Oh shit, we can just auto that. Should we auto it? Yeah, just auto it. Conkrava Grimazul! Yeah, that damage is not so bad. Probably would have been similar result. Ooh, tower. Okay. So. We can spend a little bit of Conclave influence and get it straight to tier 2. But I usually like to prefer to, at, at the beginning of the campaign, just focus on getting the Tower of Tsar sorted. So I think the first one needed is 75 for that. And then next stop needs to be Ice Spewer. We want to get out of this province as quickly as bloody possible. Alright, I have... Let's have a look here. I've got a fair bit of excess labor now, so I'm going to sacrifice for Tsar Nagrand. Yep. And now, shut up. And now we can do one of these. Casualty replenishment rate. Yep. Winds of magic power reserve plus two per turn. That's not too bad. Armor of contempt is good. That's not too bad either. That'll be really good in the early game. Yeah. I think we'll go with extra armaments for now. Hmm. Then again, later down the track, you just start pouring armaments. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Just gonna go with that. Okay. 
And that'll just give us some passive armament so we can start actually producing good units soon. Alright, we've got this, but like you said, I have to demolish it and rebuild it. Do that here. Since I'm not going to be recruiting in this province anymore. Now, we need to try to attack... These guys next turn, if we can manage it. How strong are they? They're equal strength to us. They're at war with Kolek. Kolek should be fairly friendly towards us. We'll see. Not sure if I'll make it there. And I want you to be recruiting some more hobgoblins, yeah? Just merge this trash, doesn't matter. Save us a bit of money. There, that makes it look like we didn't take too much damage. Yep. And let's recruit a lord. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. There's another exiled. Let's go with that. Is that another research rate? Yeah, yeah, okay, good. Research rate's really good for Chaos Wars. Okay, and then over here. We're definitely gonna need some more cash. And see, we kind of got that construction cost down a fair bit. Which is nice. Maybe build Hobgoblin New Province. It'll trigger the faster the mission. Well, I've already got it here, so I can't build it. So I'm just going to demolish it here. I'm not going... Mm. Yeah. Okay. Four fifty. Another thing I could do is transfer two hundred of them over here. Actually, I will put the tick there. It'll cost me four hundred gold, and I'll just sacrifice them straight away. It'll save some public order at Zorna is cool. And I'll just score some Conclave influence. I could sell them for money. I'm not desperate for money right now. Might be eventually. Public order's fine. Yeah, Conclave influence there. Cool. Alright, let's... Um, what are these other missions? Fight three battles. Should need one more. Okay, now let's move on. Sabarantun! Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. He's okay, and let's move on. Did they fix the bug when attacking Grimgore's main settlement? Uh, I'm not aware of that bug, sorry. Probably have to fight that next battle manually. Luckily, they're not recruiting too quick. Alright, we can now send out convoys. So that'll be good. Let's have a look what we can do. So, yeah, military convoys. I feel like going to Drakenhof first is usually the best one because you get a really good item there. So, Kadai Dominion or Metallic Resilience? Kadai. No, this one's got the same number of units. This one's got two Infernal Iron Sworn as opposed to these two in the earlier stages of the game like you might be forgiven to think that these are better but i personally feel like their infantry is like kadai fireborn are really bloody good sorry 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 i mean um i infernal irons one i talk about wrong one yeah i'm gonna go with metallic resilience and we're gonna send this one to oh do you know what super annoying when playing as chaos dwarves right 
is that your one starts over here and it's right in front of Grimgore. This is one of the reasons why you gotta take out Grimgore straight away. We definitely wanna go here. So we're gonna spend armaments. I can't spend that many armaments for cash. Oh no, that's bad. The thing is, we're just after the item. So we could dispatch a hundred armaments for 800 gold. Yeah. That's usually not what you want to do. But I'm just after the item. Yeah, let's go. Okay, Astrogoth is just able to make it there. Good, the area fixed up a little bit with Winds of Magic. It's not quite as fucked as it was before. It's still bad, it's not going down minus 10 though. So we have met Kolek. No, we haven't met Kolek. We're about to meet Kolek. This one here is at war with Kolek. It would be good if we could ask Kolek to go to war with them, but I don't think I'll be able to meet him until I've actually captured this. Okay, that looks... Hopeful. What's the item? Uh, I can't remember exactly, but it's good. <laughs> I just remembered that, yeah, sending it to the vampires is good. Yeah, it's, I think it's an arcane item that helps you with re- it gives you the hunger, I think, which would be really good for Astrogoth since he is kind of a melee lord. Hey everybody comes okay, we got four lords now, so these guys basically act as our meat shield, and since there's no supply lines, why not? Works really well, because I, I can't get elite units right now, so these are my elite guys, and they hold the line really well. And eventually they Oh, man, that's okay. I'll lose a laborer if I do that. Is that really that big of a deal? Our missile units are better than theirs. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight this manually. Von Karstein Blade, yeah, so that's what Cathay gets, but you get something very similar playing as Chaos Dwarfs. Does a single bolt better than a multi-bolt in destroying buildings now in Warhammer 3, since you usually use multi-bolt on buildings in Warhammer 2? It does seem to be better, marginally, to use single bolt. Uh, if you want to do some testing, let me know, but I, I did minimal amount of testing and it did seem like it was better. Alright. Make sure these guys here are on high ground so that they're not obstructed. Keep these in the rear. Because they're damaged, we, we don't want them taking any more damage. Try to keep the damage nice and spread out. Okay, Astrogoth, just go and annoy them. You should just uh, hang back. Wait for these lords to come in, because they'll act as a really good meat shield. Because I can always just replace them for free. Yeah, I figured that they would just rush at us. And these guys are going to be two minutes. Okay, I want to move... What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, I want to move these over here now. Try to utilize the terrain a little bit better. So that we don't get flanked. What we try to do is get some of their fast units in early. Just take them out really easily. Okay, these guys need to move a little bit more forward. They're little, just not really on the best terrain there. This way. The Crown of Skulls. Yes, that's what it's called. There we go. Okay, 
Quick, move, dude. Move, move, move. Watch them. Oh, man, talk about being on the spot. Okay, they, they managed. We're good, we're good, we're good. Stay there. I didn't tell him to do that, did I? These guys showing up a little bit too late. Oh, I've actually got a uh, magic man. over here. Would have been nice if they had waited a little bit, but they didn't. Yeah, we're getting a bit of friendly fire here. I mean, they're only hobgoblins, but still. Not... Don't really want the friendly fire, though. See, it wasn't the best terrain. Okay, we've got trolls over here. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Just get out of the way, get out of the way. So okay if these guys take a little bit of damage. Move back. Okay, these archers. Move back a bit. Oof, god they got wrecked really bloody quick. That's why I put them up the front, because they just shit. You don't want the blunderbusses getting smashed. Let's turn into a little clusterfuck. It's a really messy fight, but we're not taking that much damage. Guys here are just fine, that's good. Bring these guys around the flank there. Had enough. Ah, Careful about friendly fire there. Oh, God. There we go. Okay, nothing of any real value was lost. Funny thing, the Order Resolve gave a decisive victory for us, but I don't think we took anywhere near as much damage as what the Order Resolve was going to say. Maybe it's because the single entities took a little bit more damage than they would have. But yeah, you can see here the damage isn't so bad. Do renders get regen? In the armaments, you can get it, but they don't get it by default.
Okay, we should get these men. Okay, what are we doing here? Let's go with a outpost because I still need I need more raw materials. Lots more raw materials, please. All right, so what do we get here? Nothing. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, we definitely need more raw materials. So they'll need, they'll need some workforce for that. Over here... Yeah, I don't think we're going to be fighting again this time. Let's have a look at him. He doesn't hate us. Conclave influence is alright. If I was to get just a little bit more, I could improve my relations with... With the forces of chaos, with that one there, that could be good. Because I'm not look well, yeah, with warriors of chaos. Because that could be good for just not having a war with him. All right, we need to rebuild this so we get Gordas. Kind of annoying. I could could just rush the construction. No, just to save for next time. And yeah, just leave that. Yep, 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 yep. I could upgrade this to 840. We're not rolling around in this stuff right now. How much extra money would that give us? 50. And one extra conclave influence. Hmm. Yeah, I think we just keep going to Blizzard Peak. Ew, Blizzard. Blizzard's Activision peak, peak. Finish them off. Yeah, we can see Grimgore's already starting to get more powerful than us. But his armies will be down here. So we want to try to catch him off guard, if we can. Especially, especially here. Because this is where he brings in his... Oh no, that one there. That's where he brings in his armies to attack our bloody convoys. Which he may do this turn. Remember when we played as um, Drazawath the Ashen? On turn 5, Grimgor came down here and smashed us. Doesn't look like he's there right now. So he's at war with Fold. Okay. Now our money's a little bit tight now, so I don't think I can justify recruiting anymore. We're pretty much at a full stack state at the... Oh, I can get one more. Let's get one more Archer. Yeah. Wait, hang on. Do we have eight? Yeah, we've got, we've got more than eight, so we should be able to get thingy pretty quickly. Replenishing nearly fully in the next turn, so that's good. Gotta get to Hellhammer. Drept did a 20 pound super chat. Hey man, good to finally catch a stream. I hope you enjoy yourself and have a good day. I was curious, is there a means to donate to the channel when you're not live streaming? Uh, no, and I would not really recommend doing that. Um, you don't need to. But thanks, th I, I appreciate the offer. Thanks for Super Chat. Yeah, I closed down my Patreon and all this kind of stuff ages ago. It just seems a bit silly to have one now. So this guy's my wizard, I got a death wizard. He could be useful. Okay. Okay, okay. Then... Okay, I think we should transfer some labor. Nope, wrong one. Just a hundred over to here. And make it another hundred. Yeah. That's fine. Because, yeah, we really need that raw material. Okay, next thing we need is Brazen Bodyguard. We've got to get to Malicious Compliance. Now, Public Order is really important when playing as the Chaos Wars because if you get it to here, 3% labor loss per turn, minimum of 5 labor. 
Whereas if you're down here, you lose 20% labor loss per turn, which is pretty damn significant. So this is where playing on like easy difficulty makes a huge difference over legendary because public order. You don't get a huge amount of public uh, global public order bonuses, and and grabbing them early can be very helpful. All right, let's move on. This is also why I don't pick up the sword of cane with the chaos dwarves. Is it a bug when I have wounded region and the enemy won't attack it, only starve it out? Yes, that's a bug. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's a bug. Either it's just bad AI. Yeah, so what he's talking about is that if you've got a settlement that has, like, next to no garrison, for some reason the AI will just starve it out. Rather than actually assault. It's really weird. Uh, Power Puff Soldier did a 5 super chat. I missed your Lockyer last stream. How did you find Dark Elves post 3.1 changes? You once said you hated Dark Elves in 1.3. I'm still not a fan of Dark Elves, but it's better. They're getting there. It's getting there. Definitely wasn't my favorite campaign. Ooh. We're outnumbered by... How many? Mostly shit, though. Problem here is the grudge throwers. I've got no means to get rid of that. Oh, you don't have a choice. <laughs> I'm going to take the order resolve because that's actually a lot of troops. As the artillery is going to be the biggest concern. We've got no means of getting... Yeah, they would have gotten a lot more kills than that. I had no means of getting rid of them. Probably should have had the Kadai one. Anyway. Thanks for the free labor. There we go. We got Gordos backstabber. That's good. Plus a whole bunch of labor. Nice. So Gordos should be sitting in here. Yep. Okay, now what we want to do with Gordos, if you have a look at his trait, he increases the leadership for Hobgoblin units. Where does he reduce the upkeep cost of them? Here. Okay, so he still needs to level up for that. So attaching him right now isn't essential. Last thing that we want to do is go and fight him. Oh, if we went out this way, we could go and meet, um... No, no, no. Look, if he declares war on me, then I'll fight him. Otherwise, I don't want to. Alright, let's... We need to get our way down to here. Uh, let me check my stances again. Is there anything that gives us winds of magic? No. No, nothing gives us winds of magic. Just gonna have to suck up that loss. Oh, damn. Oh, it's mostly goblins. Okay, they're all within reinforcement range, so that should be fine. Yeah, oh, there's a fucking giant there, too. Well, that's not going to matter. Well, our archers will tear them to pieces. And our army's in pretty good shape, so that's fine. Okay, now that that's done, we don't need this anymore. Get rid of that permanently. Hey, Radiant Ash, how's it going? Alright, let's have a look here. Might be a good time now to start making armaments here. Now that we're starting to get a decent amount of um, raw materials. Still considering this. It's just, it's very expensive. It's not gonna get any cheaper. You just gotta hope that this guy can make it the rest of the way. Luckily he doesn't have too far to go, but hopefully he can make the rest of the way without, um... Without getting hit. Promise it'll be easy pickings for someone. Alright, well, money's tight. Can't do much about that. I believe I, there's a... Yeah, this one here. Yeah, okay. Let's upgrade the skull. Like, oh god, that's expensive. Holy crap. Let's 
Well, I'll do it here, because that's going to be cheaper while I've got the grudge killers here. Yeah, I'll build it there instead. That way I've actually got some money left over. And, yeah, you know what, I'm going to do this here. Because these guys are reducing the construction cost by... 30 odd percent. Oh, you know what, hang on, hang on, hang on, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait until we've taken the whole province, and then we can get it for an additional 30, uh, 10%, so we get it for 40% off. Because, yeah, we're just, we're not rolling around in cash. No, hang on. Do this one, because we need to get that other building. We're, every turn that we're not building that, we're missing out on gold. Alright, we've got... Alright, I think we've got enough that we can justify some more sacrifices to Zar Nagrand. Yep, that's fine. And... I need 300, I'll have 560, yeah, that's fine, do that. Yep, we've got enough. And that gives us access to another one of these. So we got armaments plus 25. Other than Wood Elves, any factions you recommend going tall instead of aggressive expansion? You could do it with Chaos Dwarves. Um, hmm, not sure. Armor of Contempt is good, what else? Casualty Replenishment Rate's good. That's good. Was well, thinking about this one, wasn't I? To be in good terms with the Chaos Forces. So that I just don't have to worry about them. Income from settlement building will make us a fair bit of money. Eventually, not so much now. Armor of Contempt is definitely pretty good. Raw Materials. I think I might go with more Raw Materials per turn. Because that'll also give us more output as well. Definitely leaning on that one as well. So we go economy or military. What's it going to be? I'm going to go military. It won't be long before we get that again. But since we're bleeding magic out of our ass, it would be good if we could put a, at least slow it down a little bit. Alright, so this one over here will be a factory. And then we're marching in on Grimgore, which... His strength ranking is... We're keeping up with him a little bit, but he is a little bit higher than us. We just have to get to him before he gets, like, insanely powerful. Alright, that's all I can do. Let's check diplomacy, see if there's anything good here. No. Alright, let's move on. Do you ever save an enemy for some late game challenge since Warhammer 3 is so much easier than Warmer 2? No, not really. No, I, look, I just play the game until it's not fun anymore and then I stop. Raw material is very good early. Yes, that's right, but at the same time I need Winds of Magic. Alright, there's an army sitting in here. If we can catch it before it finishes, that'd be good because... Grimgore is, when he when we've declared war on him, he'll probably send everything that he's got versus everything we've got. So we want to try to put a stop to that. Oh, here we go. I can go with replenishment. Enable replenishment in foreign territory, or I can get sneaky gits. That one's the riskier choice, because these guys are already really badly damaged. Because getting some replenishment even for two times... I'm going to go with the riskier choice. Yeah. Cool. Risk it for the biscuit. Alright. How are we going to go about this? Tempest! What could you offer me? This is curious. I am the Tempest! Mm. He likes me not really. So it would be good if we could trade with him. <laughs> he just he doesn't want to. I'm not sure if we're gonna fit all of our guys here. Okay, cool. Let's attack the one outside here, because that way we'll get post-battle loot options. Okay, we're starting to get some good amount of raw materials, that's good. 
this will also mean two battles, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Ooh, not unless I order was over. Now I'm gonna fight this manually because I reckon I can mess with them. I just wish I had a good spell to like just bomb all these goblins. Yeah, they lack cavalry, which is really what they need if they want to beat us. The giant isn't going to be that big of a deal. We've got plenty of missiles. We'll also have plenty of time for these guys to show up this time, because the last time they were late to the battle. If we can kill him really quickly, that'd be really good as well. Alright, let's do this. You can make money and increase rel with wood elves, as long as you have profits that you are willing to exchange with them every single turn. Just build something in one turn and then exchange. Yeah. Yeah, you can do that with every faction. Yep, yep. Any considered lords available? Yeah, I think we did. Order resolve it. No, I think we can do better than an order resolve. Because you got to keep in mind as well, decisive victory but low casualties still means like 25% casualties and it'll probably be isolated to our melee infantry due to being lopsided sort of army. So, order resolve... If you fight it, you get more loot. Yeah, that's another thing as well. Okay. There... Oh, this terrain is not good, but we can pick and choose where we want to fight. I reckon if we run back to here, we'll have plenty of time. But then these guys... I'm going to send these two to go and kill him straight away. And you. And you. Yeah, if we could be standing here, that would be ideal. But for that, I'm probably going to need these guys to come over here, because they're... Oh, I don't think they can spawn there. Five minutes. Well, those guys are going to goof around a fair bit. They don't, and by the time they even show up, there'll be only three minutes left on this. So, that, yeah, this map is not ideal for us, but make do... But yeah, this position here is not good for an archer-based army. Do you still think the Chorfs DLC is a 7 out of 10 DLC? Yeah, well you gotta take the price into consideration. Yeah, I'd say so. Is that what I said? 7 out of 10? I'm pretty sure I don't give number ratings anymore. I think I ever said 7 out of 10. Like, it's good. It's good. But it's a bit expensive. It's way better than Shadows of Change DLC. Yeah. If I hit a weight reinforcement, I'm pretty sure it speeds them up. Actually, I'm not sure about that. Let me just see. It didn't. Okay, that's good. Alright, let's get organized over here. So like I said, I wanted to set up here. Did I even get a single hit in? He did. Okay. Alright. Astrogoth, you need to go and mess with them. Unfortunately, your spells suck at the moment. I guess I could overcast Burning Wrath while they're all blobbed up. Well, he didn't miscast, so that's good. Hmm, actually, let's move higher up over here. That looks better. Better 
Well, that Tommy miscasted. But that was a much better. Oh, that was way better. Way better than the first one. That's why we fight it manually. Yeah, that was what we want to see. Too bad we don't have Hellhammer, but early days. That's why we gotta train him up. Get Hellhammer quickly. Okay, uh, Chaos Dwarf just better, Dawi. Uh, they're very different. They don't play the same. They've got some similarities. But yeah, they're basically. They are definitely better than regular dwarfs. The only way you could really argue that the dwarfs are stronger than Chaos Dwarves is that there are more regular dwarf factions, so they outnumber them, but the dwarfs are. kind of, uh. busy at the start of a campaign anyway. Okay, our guys are showing up. Yeah, if we can try to keep their archers back, that'd be good. Bring these up. Just have them hold them back. Blunderbusses. Shooting. Okay, we've got a problem. The giant's already here. We need to... Oh, God. Yeah, stay away from that. Astro you need to stay away from that. That giant is too strong for you. Right, bring these guys down here now. Okay, giant's going down. Maybe I should have water resolved it. <laughs> Again, it would have done more damage than this, and it would have been lopsided to these guys. Come on, shoot the friggin' dude there. Shoot the damn freaking giant. Yeah, I should have auto resolved this. Silly. That was a really good auto resolve I gave me. I should have just gone with it. It's still gonna be fine, but. I definitely think auto resolve would have been better. Okay, giant's down. I think the terrain has screwed us over more than anything here. The, uh, then again, if we get more loot from fighting it manually, then that's worth... But yeah, we're fine, we're fine. The damage is superficial. We'll recover pretty quick. Is inflicted. And we should run down as many of them as we can. I'd probably say close victory with that.
Right, that'll do. Yeah, close victory. You can also fight again, which is more loot. That is true, yeah. Then again, if we had auto-resolved it, they would have all been wiped out. Look, we only took 298 casualties. If we had auto-resolved it, what probably would have happened is we would have taken more than that. It's weird with auto-resolve. It is really, really weird. Like, it would have taken more damage on higher value units. Like, we took damage on Hobgoblins. Gives us a decisive victory, which the type of victory doesn't matter on, on the... Just at all. So we would have taken more casualties than this, but they would have been isolated on the melee infantry. Whereas this is just a Hobgoblins, which can be easily just replaced. So... It's really hard to say what would have been better, auto resolve or manually, because we can only do one of them. Alright, so if we do this one, we get 1,000 labor. Yeah, definitely 1,000 labor. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Because that is a big public order problems, but... We just sell it for Conclave Influence over the next couple of turns. Public Order over here is a bit of an issue. Oh, we've got seven turns until we've got... Okay, yeah, do that. So we can build this here. This will use our raw materials for a little bit of money. I usually don't build this one. So that'll produce 50 armaments per turn, but cost me 150 armaments. That's good. That'll increase our raw materials without costing us anything. So this province here is currently making us 300. So if I build this one, that'll give us an extra 30. Yeah, and maybe later. If I upgrade this, I don't think that's... That's not worth it right now. Maybe later, but not worth it right now. Yeah, let's get armaments um, going, because I want to get some bull centaur renders. Astroboth. Alright, let's just order resolve this one though. Yeah, look. See, we took more casualties than what what it said. Than what the previous battle was. It's weird, it's weird. Just because you get a close victory in a fight manually doesn't make it worse than a decisive order resolve. Alright, so I want this one to be a factory, I think. Yeah, I'm a factory. Alright, we're replenishing pretty quick. Let's try to get over here before they finish recruiting. Oh, that's actually fucking Gringor. Shit. What's he doing there? Oh, look at how much Winds of Magic he gets. How is he getting that? Other. Doesn't even have a spell cast, so why does he get all the Winds of Magic? Okay, good. We've got Hellhammer, but it's going to be pretty expensive at this point. We've we got to get to Dark Sacrifice. Okay. Alright, well, we're not making shitloads of cash. Oh, look, we got the thing that we wanted straight away. Okay, hang on, hang on. If that's using up 150... When we build this, we'll only be making 200 per turn. But we'll get loads of armaments. Hmm. I'll need to make more outposts in here. We're going to get that up quicker. Okay, that's fine. Alright, technologies. Yep, got to get up to here. Dragon Bezeki! Hashut Charmi Dadrin Garaz!
Drastrom. Mistak Atharvanturas. Taurt am Taurtrom Kada. So we get that at rank five. Okay, well, we're good to transfer him over, just to get the... Let's get rid of this one. Piece of crap, anyway. Get the extra replenishment rate. So yeah, he's giving us 11%. And let's get rid of the other Orc Laborer, because it's just trash. And let's get a sneaky... I'm actually going to go Hob Hobgoblin Cutthroat. I just need something of a front line. No, actually, I've got I've got heroes for that. Go with this. We need firepower. Mm -hmm. All right, that's good, I guess. All right, check diplomacy, see what's available. All right, it'll probably take us two turns to get to Gorja Rock. Yeah, his strength rankings above us, but that's largely, I think, because we took so much damage in that battle. I really don't want to run myself into the red. Now would be a bad time for him to declare war on me. Hopefully, he goes somewhere else. Yeah, oh, hang on. Is that Echo's Dwarf Key? I don't want anything. Davar, I am the Tempest. What could you offer? Which have you met? Unlikely he'll declare war on us, so we gotta sneak up to him and smash him. Alright, let's move on. Did you feel the Hobgoblin Trapper nerf? Uh, no. I haven't felt that. Alright, they've almost made it to Drakenhof. It'd be good if we get that item right when we are fighting Grimgore, because that's going to be really handy. Also, how's the stream performance... Oh, they moved away. The stream performance for you guys. I adjusted the settings a little bit. I don't see any issues. The frame rate should be good, or better. I think the intern farm at Zarnagrin still works. No, they changed it so that if you put lords in raid stance there, um, they will declare war on you. Demon smithy for stone mantle. The demon smithy... Yeah, stone mantle is really good. Corn dock. Yes, corn dock. Sar du talegram. Shit, he ran off somewhere. Zula hua. I didn't see where he went. I think he went to Karag Vrag. Equal strength swim. I don't think he went to Eagle Eries. How many settlements does he have? He's got four. His armies are actually slightly weaker than mine, just slightly. Now, it would be really good if we can get some more replenishment, we got, but we got to get out of this fucking province. Because it sucks. I could force march him over here, but then I'm not going to get any replenishment. Well, that would be in foreign territory as well. Could go that way. No. That would bring us closer to Karak Vrag. Let's go and have a little look. Oh, hang on, hang on. Send a scout to go and have a look this way first. There he is. There he is. Oh no, that's Narla. 
Okay, military presence of 10. That means that they've actually got two full stacks in two different locations. It's possible that Grimgore actually went to Eagle Eries. Alright, you stay there. Yeah, we need that replenishment. Going to ambush stance, maybe, so he doesn't see us coming. Hmm, not sure if I'd make it from that angle. Alright, you stand... Stand there. I don't think anyone's going to be able to attack him. This is too far away. He moved in March stance to Eagle Eries? Okay. Okay. Yeah, because whatever we do, we don't, we don't have to necessarily attack him, but we have to attack an army. I don't have any artillery, so Karak Vrag might be a bad choice. Alright, they're all still in the province, and I was waiting for this turn to... There we go, it's a little bit cheaper. Let's do that. How annoying would it be if it just, like, jumped over here? Yeah, we need to get that, um... Need to get that replenishment. We'll be replenished at full strength, so that's good. I can afford one unit of something, but I think I'd rather keep my money for now. We need to sell off more of these laborers. We've got too many of them. Because I like Conclave Influence, getting this stuff sorted early is good. Uh, KJax1 did a 5 euro super chat. You can see which settlement the enemy lords are if you zoom out. There is a castle symbol above the settlement. Maybe you don't know. Alright, I'll have a look at that. Let me... Thanks for the chat. Let me... Let me have a look at that. There's definitely an army there. You can see... Wait. Then there's an army here as well. Yeah, it shows a little flag if there's an army there. Huh. How about that? How about that? I didn't know that. That's very useful. Want to upgrade was collect for the iron? Alright, so to upgrade Uzkalak, I need 1,800 raw materials. The reason why I'm doing this one is because these guys here have reduced construction cost. So, when we move into a different province next turn, uh, it's not going to be as cheap. But yeah, we need- we just need shitloads of raw materials in order to build that. I just- I just don't have the money. If, like, I could cancel this one, I still wouldn't have enough. Yeah, I still wouldn't have enough. I would have enough next turn. So let me have a look. If, if we get the iron from here, what would that do for us? Yeah, that would be good for armaments. But we're okay for that for now. Yeah, we'll, we'll get there eventually. Still focus on that one. I definitely would prefer to fight one army at Gorja Rock. Just have to see how we go. Alright, let's move on. Why are you not demolishing Hobgoblin building? Because I always recruit more Hobgoblins. They're good. I can't recruit any more uh, good units right now. I don't have enough armaments. Okay, well, not surprised by that. This is why I put him in ambush stance. Oh, you got bushed! <laughs> you got bushed! Oh, that's a bad start for Grimgore right there. Guess what? We don't want any of them getting away. Thanks for the- Oh yeah, you don't get as much labor when you order resolve. But I'll take that. Yoink! That is a very bad start for Grimgore. You forgot Conclave? I did too, yeah, I'll do it next turn. 
No, 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 don't declare war on me. Maybe I should sell them Blizzard Peak. That's a good start to the war, smashing out one of his armies like that. Ooh, lose some cargo, grab a mammoth. Yeah, okay. I wasn't doing it for the cargo anyway. I'll get that next turn, so that'll be good. Alright, now... Oh, no! Oh, hang on, hang on. Okay. Okay, we got a we got an opportunity here. It seems as though Astrogoth can besiege this settlement, and this guy here can attack that army. It's on force march, so we're not going to be able to get away. So that'll be an easy win. We're pretty much at full strength. That's good. But going up against this, we're going up against twenty nine units. If we have a look at Grimgore's strength, we're slightly stronger than him, that's hopeful. Do we have any regiments of renown? Now might be a good time to use them. I do, I do. Uh, so for much, I became a member for 14 months. Pleasure as always. Alright, thanks dude. Appreciate that. Alright, looking at them. What if I ask them to go to war with them? No, they don't want to do it. What if you join... What if I gave you Blizzard Peak? Yeah, I could get a defensive alliance with them for that. And a whole bunch of other things, just for the settlement. Because this settlement here, it does have salt though. Is salt of any use to us? Mm, I don't really intend to get any of those right now. The thing is, I kind of feel like he's probing me for, for an attack. Yeah, also, I don't have another building that I would desperately need to build there right now. Alright, let's have a look at this. So, Armor of Contempt could be useful for the battle that's coming. Raw materials would be good. Yeah, for diplomacy that would be good, but that would help in the coming battle. A lot of good ones in here. Alright, look, I, I'm just going to assume he's not going to declare war on me. I'm going to go with Armor of Contempt, because that's going to be helpful in the coming fight. Also, Grimgore's on Force March, so that's good for us. Alright, Besiege the Settlement. And if we win this, Grimgore is out. This is everything he's got. So we're throwing everything we've got at him. I wasn't expecting an order resolve. Man, Chaos Dwarves are bloody nuts. Order resolve, man. Alright, Hopefully this doesn't fuck us over. 18 casualties seems fine. 4 labor. I think we'll go with the 1% replenishment. I didn't get the um, regiment of renown. Don't think I need it actually. What? Uh, I'll lose a Chaos Dwarf unit, but... What? <laughs> that doesn't make a difference. Okay, let me level my characters up. Might make a difference. I can't believe how strong the order resolve is. Alright. We want to save some points for Basalt Body. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think that's going to make a difference. Man, that order resolve is just... It's just nuts. 
decide what I want to get with that yet. So that'll be good. Save some money. Good amount of money with that saved. What's going to give us the most amount of benefit? So ammunition for Hobgoblin. Or... Melee defense. Typically melee defense is best for order resolving. But you can't go wrong with 25% extra ammo. So I'm going to go with that. Unfortunately, this guy here... Hang on, I got an idea, I got an idea. This might work, it also might not. If I was to just... Take that unit out... Sometimes this works. I saved him. Yep, yeah, it worked. Yeah! Double check that. Oh, that. Oh, that's freaking. Jeez. <laughs> Pretty happy with that result. Okay, so we need more outposts. I realize Chaos Wars have Replenish early and Blue Line is really helpful. Let me have a look. Yeah, but it's only 6%. It's not a huge amount. I'll just hand it back. Well. Jesus. Well, I think we have just... Yeah, we've defeated Grimgore with that. Okay, so next thing we want to do is I think we need to split up our armies and send some of them to Eagle Eries. What do we got here? Nothing. I'm going to send Astrogoth Iron Hand by himself to Karak Vrag, whereas I'm going to send these guys to Eagle Eries to sort that out. And I'm going to recruit another lord. Because we want to take Grimgore out before he recovers. Preferably another grudge killer would be good. Overseer is the best. So this guy's got the considered trait. Nice. And I'll get him to just recruit. Just recruit some trash, just because that's what we're going to have. Apart from maybe Regiment of Known. They'll recover, we'll head down. Oh, it looks like he might not make it there this turn. But yeah, we need to go take out Karag Vrag. As quickly as we can. Because Grimgore can recover pretty damn quick. Alright, good. We got Basalt Body. Master of the Conclave. Is not... Okay, that'll help with the Warriors of Chaos for sure. Let me have a look at the other ones. That'll be really good later down the track. That's not amazing. That's alright. I'd say go with this one to begin with. That's what we need right now. And that'll hopefully keep Kolek off our back. Let's even get him to declare war here. Yeah, okay. If we do that... He shouldn't... Yeah, he shouldn't uh, do anything against us now. So it definitely looked like he was going for it. Cool. Alright, let's have a look here. Path to the east is secure. Over here. Uh-huh. Gorge of rock. Okay, we need to accept new labor here. And... How are we going with all this? Yeah, we've got plenty of labor, so... Sacrifice, and we'll put in for some more strip mine. Dominate. Yeah. Good. I think that's a really strong start. Nah, don't do that one. Rush, Thaumanzi, Zara! 
Ha ajut să arme ta drincara! I also think we got a helm of Discord, which is really useful. Alright, so what are we doing here? That's pretty good. Missile resistance for him could be good because he's a big boy. So that'll give him extra melee defense. This one here makes him a bit good agent. I don't want that. This one here gives him extra melee attack. I definitely... Oh, hang on. That's a good amount of weapon strength. Yeah, that's not bad. They're all mutually exclusive. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Temple Guardian. Cool. Cool. Yep, we need that. That's good. Wait, what was the other thing? Casualties captured post battle. That's going to be good for more labor and control all provinces is always good. How are we going with public order anyway? Yeah. Yeah, at some point I'm probably going to need to pop that down. Oh, wait. No. No, I might actually be able to fix it. I don't think I'm going to be constructing in Uzkalak anytime soon. Oh, we're getting fairly close to having the raw materials needed. Well, I could just switch it again. We need some public order. Okay, and let's move on. Strongest Chaos Dwarf Legendary Lord? I would say it's Drazoath the Ashen is the strongest. Probably already voiced your opinions on this earlier in the stream, but what's your thoughts on Warhammer employees now being laid off at CA? It was expected, of course. Do we know that the Warhammer employees are the ones getting laid off? We know that there's, there is, like, the entire um, uh, Hyenas team is getting laid off. Um, or reorganized. I don't think that the Warhammer team is getting laid off. That's, the, that's like, the only profitable branch of Creative Assembly. It doesn't make any sense. Do you have do you have any like evidence to suggest that they are actually getting laid off in, within the Warhammer side of things? Oh, uh, okay, okay. They're raising an army from here, right? Okay, whatever. Yeah, Crown of Skulls, that's good. Alright, well, by the time these guys get... Oh no, if we can attack it right now... Um, are you able to get there? Yeah, you're going to force march though. Hmm. What are we looking at with that? Mostly trash. I can get regiments of an elm. It's only an orc boss. Ardugaltak! Ooh, I think I can manage. I think I can manage. Alright. You need to go besiege the settlement. This is iffy. This is iffy. Great Book of, sorry, Great Book of Grudges posted a video earlier today with one of the Warhammer 3 army guys who's worked from Warhammer for 6 years is posting on LinkedIn with open for work and so forth. Oh shit. What?! <laughs> I thought I was going to have to bring in the other guys. One! <laughs> what? What? What is this order resolve? This is on very hard battle difficulty. Alright, um, I usually only put one outpost in a settlement, in a province. I usually go the rest with factories. Because otherwise you end up with huge public order problems. Look! Shit, when the game gives you a free sandwich, take it.
This guy might be able to jump over here next turn. Holy shit! Now, if they recruit an army there, they will attach those heroes. Okay, so we don't need this one here anymore. We'll get rid of that. Hmm. Actually, they make it archers. Archers have higher potential for damage. Yeah, we can't reach here. Okay, if we're lucky, they'll recruit a lord here. So, in order to guarantee that, well, as much as possible, we should, since I can't make it here this turn, we'll go into ambush stance. Because they'll see us coming here, and they'll be like, oh, better not recruit there, but maybe they'll put it here. Man, I didn't realize these these uh, Chaos Dwarves Lords were so powerful in order resolve. That's why we've been able to just smash everything in order resolve to actually get better resolve. 1,200 kills. That is just absolutely absurd in order resolve on very hard battle difficulty. What the hell? All right, I've got everything under control here. Uh -huh. Nothing that I really need to construct. I think just keep things as they are for now. Uh, Gorger Rock is pretty safe. We could... Wait, wait until it's all in... When do we take the whole province before we do that? Because we need to get that cost down. Otherwise, we're going to have no money. All right, let's have a look at this. Our... Yeah, that's fine. We could sell off those ones. I think it shifted it down. And that'll bring us down to fire 499. That'll be fine. Do that. Yep, yep. That's fine. And that way... Yeah. Okay, cool. Start another caravan? Yes, we need to start another caravan. That's right. So, diplomatic relations with Warriors of Chaos Beastmen in Norska. That's good. Looking at some other stuff up here. Because, yeah, if you come up all this way, tower settlements provide extra conclave influence. Getting this stuff really early helps a big deal. Makes a big difference. Don't need that one so much. But you need both of those, I think, in order to get this. No, no, it only requires one of them. Well, if that's the case, let's just keep going this way. Okay, we also need to attach the arcane item. Crown of Skulls. Yep, that's fine. Start another caravan, that's it. You mean convoy? Alright, we've got the Kadaga dude still there. This one... Oh yeah, for sure. Look, it's friggin... Skullcracker Dreadquake Mortar. Hell yeah, I'll take that one. Thank you very much. And where are we going to send you? Alright, well, so we've done Drakenhof. Next up, we could... Trade money for... Nah... Money for for that's all right. Great Hall of Greases. Isn't that a good item? I feel like that's a good item. All right, let's go there. And honestly, money is not that much of an issue. So let's just get as many raw materials as possible. Off you go. Okay, it's good to see him generating Winds of Magic again. Because, yeah, they still recover. Um, they don't instantly recover, I mean. Alright, let's move on.
Black Crag for Mirror Shield. Oh, they recruited it though. But then he can. Uh, look, if they're not... Att oh, they did attach it. Okay. I was hoping they would put it in the other area, but considering how cracked that auto resolve, maybe we'll be fine. I don't think he's going to declare war on me. Okay. Alright, oh, that shouldn't be too bad. Can you possibly make it over here? Yeah, you should be fine. But we have to besiege first, or else they'll intercept you. Let me guess, order resolve win? No. Not this time. Close defeat. Can't intercept this while he's under siege. I thought I was going to have to fight it manually, but uh, I'll take it. it. Saves a lot of time. Alright, so we've already got... Yeah, like I said, I only put one outpost per province, because if you put too many outposts in, you require loads of labor, and ends up causing huge public order problems. Whereas, factories don't require any labor, they just require raw materials. We don't have to build a raw material building, so I go one of them per province. Plus, you can increase the output of your, um, of your guys by um, building this building here. Make it more efficient. Yeah, I don't think in any province you should just spam one type of province, uh, one type of factory or, or otherwise, unless it's a, a small province. But with the four province, uh, four region provinces, just one is usually what I put in. And you usually want to put. Actually, now that I'm looking at it. You usually want to put whichever whichever settlement has the resource to be the outpost. So I might switch that to be a factory and switch mm, later. No, don't worry about it now. I see one mine per two factories. Yeah, that makes that makes sense. Okay. Well, this is goodbye to Grimgore. Order resolved to death. <laughs> yeah, we didn't fight a single battle against Grimgore. Okay, we, let's have a look here. Yeah, No, I need my Conclave influence. I need it. Because that would take 50 turns to get my return of investment back on that. And yeah, definitely occupy this tower. When you're absolutely rolling around in, in this and you've done the tower, then by all means, you know, push it to tier 5. Well, Grimgore gone. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to take him out by turn 11. I thought he put up a bit more of a fight. So, with that done, we are free to conquer the Mountains of Morn. No problem, I think. Alright, we got some labor shortage. Let's have a look here. In this area. So, let's do this. Okay. So that means everything will be covered. Okay, 100%. Cool. Because we want to make sure we keep getting that raw materials coming in. Okay, so at Karag Vrag, it's got gems, which we can use to generate lots of money. But we, we need raw materials for that. So... First thing I always build is this one here. We want to generate that income. Doesn't this building spread public... Yeah, adjacent provinces. So that's a good one to have, especially on legendary difficulty. So let's build that here. 
Oh, it's only a tier three. Will it start spreading it? Ugh. And yeah, pop that down. So we can upgrade this cheaper next turn if we just wait for that to be done. And then next up, I think we're going to take these guys out. Why not? Man, though, hero spam works out pretty... Not hero spam, lord spam works really bloody well. Alright, does he want... Okay, cool, he wants a trade agreement and an aggression pact. Awesome. We'll make a tiny bit of money out of that. Agreed. all. They like us. That's good. I might just ignore them for now. Are you a god? Because I might want to declare war on them. <coughs> since they're just a little bitch. But we're not there right now. Okay, we've got a decent amount of armaments. But before I increase the capacity of any bull centaurs, we need to make sure we've we've done this one. That'll save us a little bit of cash as well, so that's good. Okay. Mm. I don't think that uh, Astrogoth needs to have some uh, satellite lords around him now. But these guys here, we can just move them down here. To Fire Mouth, assuming there's no army there. They could they should be able to take out a garrison. For some reason, the ogres have absolutely terrible order resolve, so that's probably not gonna be a problem. So we'll just mosey on down. But one of the great things about taking out Grimgore here is that we don't have to worry about our caravans. They'll be safe now. Well, at least initially. So that's good. Alright, I don't think there's anything more I can do. Let's move on. Okay, here we go. Oh. Um, yeah. If if we don't accept this, he'll jump down over here and annoy us. That is a small price to pay because I'm expanding over here. I don't want to have to shift all of my forces over this way. I don't have time to recruit anything. He's stronger than us. I'll accept it. He's threatening us. Whatever. Strength ranking 4. It's only money. We've got plenty of it. Not accepting that would have cost us a lot more in the in the long run because we just wouldn't have been able to um, deal with it in time. And now we should leave us alone for a few turns. See, money's money's fine. Oh, yay! A caravan. Northern provinces. Yeah, look, if this was if this was pre-patch 4.0, I'd be all over this, but that might give me four grand. So four grand with uh having Miao Ying breathe down my neck. You know, she'll bloody run up all the way over here to attack me. Hmm, I don't think it's worth it. See, this is the problem when you nerf something into oblivion, people just stop doing it. But they just, they just nerfed it way too hard. Alright, I think I need to merge these two units. Hmm. Yeah, don't force march, but just mosey on down here. We need to see what's going on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I said I was going to do that. Oh, okay. My bad. Before we leave, we gotta get that. Get that construction going at nice 600. That's not too bad at all. Grimas 
Yeah, that's fine. They're all moving at the pace of the first person. That's fine. Okay. Hopefully we catch their army over here. Yeah, their army is here. 12 units. Astragoth should be fine. Well, just look under. Okay, hang on. Yeah, 12 units. That, that looks easy. Shouldn't be a problem. That means there's nothing here. No, it doesn't mean there's nothing there. We'll see. So it says, be at war with the Blood Guzzlers for this. Th that's good. I'll take that. Alright, I got a little bit of cash. I could recruit some more Hobgoblins. Probably not the best idea, though. Uh, let's have a look here. Do I have... Yeah, I don't have enough. This one here is a little bit over, so let's just do that. That way, none of it's going to waste. It's only 50. Okay. Alright, we've also got enough for another seat. So, I think raw materials seems like a good choice. Let's grab that. Yep. Cool. Uh, what's gem building provided to Chorf? Just money. It actually costs you raw materials, and it gives you uh, a lot of money. Not really worth doing at this stage of the game. Plus, you got to get to rank 3. Okay. At Ice Spewer. Yeah, let's go with the money building. So, this one over here can provide a little bit of public order. There's actually a good province to put a... A good region to put the Hobgoblin Barracks in. So, we can just globally recruit any of these units in one turn. But, 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 we should go with money first, because we're not, <laughs> we're not, we're not rich. We'll get there, we'll get there. What does that cost? Ugh, God, the expenses on this. Take what's there. Nagel's beloved. Uh, okay, yeah, you don't sell gems either. Okay. Lol. All good. Alright, what are we going to build in this spot? So that building's okay. Ooh, calm down, computer. Must be overheating. Friggin' corruption causing it problems. This building here is pretty good. Raw materials consumed per turn by buildings in the local province. So you use up fewer um, raw materials. That's good for having lots of factories. But yeah, on legendary difficulty, having control in all adjacent provinces is pretty helpful. 225 of that. One control. It's not really very good. We can't build any of these other things yet. Alright, do it. Do it. Alright, let's move on. Hey legend, what's the best way to balance labor? Over time I get too many and cause rebellions every other turn. So the way I go about it, especially because you play it. I'm playing on legendary difficulty. If you put too many um, raw material producing provinces, regions in a province, you'll require too much labor, which will cause like 10 public order problems. So every 100, every 100 labor causes one public order problems. Oh shit. They reckon everything they got here. Oh, I kind of wish I bought another army. We might just be able to order resolve that though. Um, so, I usually put one outpost in each province. That sort of balances it out. So you don't get huge problems. And then just don't have like 5,000 labor in a province that doesn't require that much. Yeah, that's fine. Do that. Right, we're at full strength. And ogres are just shit in auto resolve, so we might just be able to auto that. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Good, getting paid a grand to take on something that we were going to take on anyway. Italian 
Yep. I mean, he took a bit of damage, but that was easy. <laughs> Man, Chaos Dwarf Auto Resolve is just absolutely insane. Alright, so 200 labor can be sold for 1,500, so we always take the labor there. Thank. Okay, so Titan's Notch. If I recall correctly, this region here doesn't give you a tower. It used to, I believe. It doesn't anymore. I'm going to put this as an outpost. Don't need that there. Accept new labor. Alright, there is no way... Oh, no, they, they do have some forces. It's just... Oh, yeah, their force is their, um... Their camp there, so let's just... Zap down over here, quickly. Before they have a chance to react. Nice. Alright, looking at this... Alright, we could rebalance this out so that we can sell some of them for more Conclave influence. That's usually what I like to do at the beginning of the game. Okay, and then I've got one, two there, and one, two there, and one, two there. Cool, that way... Oh, hang on. There we go. And it costs me 70 labor, and I can pop down... Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, that way I can pop down two sacrifices to Hashut. Yeah, it's fine. So, in this one and this one. Yep, and that way we're still at 100% and I got myself some Conclave influence, which is what I like. Have you heard, ever heard about War Thunder? Played it? Funny story, actually. I, I mentioned this at the beginning of the stream. Oh, here we go. Now we're in the magic. One man doomstack. Um, yeah, funny story. I was offered to do a sponsorship with War Thunder, but I turned it down because I took a look at the game and I thought, yeah, my audience, I don't think they're going to want to play this. It's very freemium. I don't think you guys are going to want it. Nothing against the game. Seems okay, but I wouldn't personally play it. So I'm not going to advertise a game that I wouldn't personally play. I'm not opposed to doing a sponsorship for a game outside of Total War, but it's got to be something that I actually think is good. So, for example, if they wanted to do a sponsorship for Anno 1800, I'd do that because I play Anno 1800. Or if it was like Starfield, I'd do it because I play Starfield. But I'm not going to do it for a game that I'm not interested in. War Thunder is an excellent game. Lots of crossover with this community. Okay, well, that's cool. That's cool. Um, I, I took a look at it and I just didn't. I just didn't think I'd want to play it. But if you want to play it, you go right ahead. I just didn't think the sponsorship was a good choice. Yeah, so you're gonna have mixed things. You're gonna have someone saying, on one hand. War Thunder is an excellent game. Lots of crossover with this community. And then down below it, a few, few bits, it says, War Thunder is a horrible game ran by a horrible company. <laughs> so, yeah, I figured it was going to get that sort of response. So I'm just like, I just, nah, I'm not going to get involved with that kind of stuff. Not worth the effort. All right. Because at the end of the day, my job is to make you guys happy. And if I feel like a sponsorship isn't going to make you guys happy, I'm not going to do it. So this will be good, but well, it's just really to get up here. Okay. Okay. Hmm. You really have to think about what you're going to build with the Chaos Dwarfs 
far more so than the other factions. I really do need more of this. And that makes it more efficient as well. But 2000, oh, I got money, that's fine. Something extra 100 though, all right, just do it. And should we upgrade this? Fucking nearly seven grand for that. I spew, at least it's safe. Pretty safe. I, I don't expect to get attacked over this way. Yeah. Oh god, that is that is that's such a rip off. <laughs> Who priced that, Rob Bartholomew? Fucking hell. All right, let's put this here now because I'm probably not going to construct. Oh, hang on, hang on. We got another thing here. Now I needed this to get Astrogoth's thing. To get his um, iron shell or iron frame. Yeah, get that. Fine. Just, just go all out. And then switch this. And we're not going to do any more construction for a little while. Because that one there will just maintain public order. Yeah, that's fine. That province over there is quite secure now. Alright, cool. Let's uh, move on. Hey Legend, was the Cathay Caravan compass bug fixed? If it's not, I wonder if attacking a caravan with a compass bug on will give the same loot money? Yeah, that's interesting, but um, yeah, they fixed it. That would require the AI to do it, and I don't think the AI uses the Wujing War compass the same way as the player. So they must have recruited a new lord over here. Definitely want to take these guys out as well, but we can do that after we've taken out Blood Peak. Cool, alright, smash. Kolik is really bored with no wars. Well, he could attack... Zatan the Black. Nothing stopping him there, I won't get involved. Yeah, not much out of that. I think I'll just take the money. Because there's only 28 labor. Are you going to raid Zarnagrid? They they patched that. That doesn't work anymore. Apparently. So, short answer, no. I'm not going to do that. Let me guess. Order resolve in their favor or mine? Oh, massively in their favor. Hmm. Mercy's a beast in nine hours. He made it to a grand total of six turns. Yeah, Mercy really goes through the turns quite slow. <laughs> That's fine. Right. That's better. That's much better. Thank you very much. Alright, so we've already got Blood Peak, which we made an out... Wait, no, we don't have anything here yet. Um, we should make this one... That one's got first, an outpost. Cool, we've got a mount already. Which, to be honest, I think I prefer him on foot for now. You're not that damaged, this guy is, so put him on that. Is that the wizard? No. Only thing I need to decide is which part of you to eat first. 
Hmm. Greases. Yeah, we could go and smash Greases. It doesn't seem that strong. Might need to get some more troops though. That'll be good for also um, Siege Attacker. Yeah, but we're gonna need some more troops. Yeah, 1000 gold. Might just recruit trash. Alright, so over here we need more raw materials. Yep, keep that coming. Oh no, my money! I recently raided Zar Nagrin for 30 turns in Draz campaign without any repercussions. Oh, okay. Uh, look, I'm still not gonna do it, but that's good to know that that still works. They did what? put in the patch notes that it doesn't, but typical CA. Oh, These guys want peace. Nah, finish him off. Is Greases at war with anyone? I've been noticing this a lot in the latest patch. The AI will routinely just not be at war with anyone. They just sit there doing nothing. They just basically wait for you to show up and then you're like, Oh look, it's the player! Declare war. Alright, what are we doing next? You know what I might actually do? I'll send these guys here to take Blood Peak, and I'll have Astrogoth sort out Yati Peak. Yeah, if I force march back to Titan's Notch, I might actually make it there next turn. Maybe. Yeah, I'll get them to sort that out. Because there's, there's nothing important in there. They might recruit a Lord, but our guys will handle it. And that'll just give us a bit more time to prepare for Greases. Still need to try to make more cash, though. We're not making much. Chaos Dwarves in the early stages of the game can be pretty damn destitute. But they snowball out of control later on. Bring death. Obey me. We're getting a good amount of passive conclave influence per turn now. That's great. Alright, let's have a look here. Alright, let's just do a bit of a reset. And just send it wherever it's needed. Alright. Never mind. Oh, I don't even have the money for it. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, that's fine. Alright, over here, Black Fang. Uh, Eagle Eries. I don't think I'm building from here anymore, so let's get rid of that. I've got a decent amount of armaments. Let me have a look. If I was to get some bull centaurs, yeah, it's it's pretty cheap now, comparatively. But since I'm not able to recruit them right this very second, let's just chill. I'll have to get all the way back over here if I want to recruit them. All right, let's just move on. Oh, hang on, we got a convoy to dispatch. Alright, this one's ready to go, but I think its units might be a little bit damaged still. Let's have a look. Yeah, they're a bit damaged. Oh, God, I got no money. I need to get some cash from somewhere. That's not urgent. It's only, what, 50 extra gold? Yeah, it's not worth it right now. Retired Demon Smith is good. Get extra hero capacity for bull centaurs. And that's three blunderbusses. I'll take that. Alright, sending it down to Great Halls of Greases is probably a mistake if we're going to actually attack it. So let's go to Black Crag. I can't send that much. 
Yeah, look, I don't need... I'd much rather have money than labor. So, I just, I'm just going to get the item. Why don't we go somewhere else, then? Let's see what else there is. Yeah, raw materials at the Silver Tower of Sorcerers. Alright, that's better. Okay, I can send it for that. Now let's move on. Why is Kolek so passive? He's not fighting anyone. Uh, well, he's surrounded by people he likes. Ooh, he moved away. That makes the battle potentially easier. Who's Drachma and Corsa and Garni? No, I just don't want them to attack me. They're not going to attack me while they're friendly, so just leave it be. I might go out and fight them later. Just not right now. Good, I've still got enough movement to reach there. I think I made the right choice there. I reckon Greasus will declare war on me fairly soon. I'm about evenly matched. That guy's gonna recruit... Yeah, a few Ogre Bulls, but... I think we'll be ready for him. Okay, we've also got some more Conclave influence. We could... Let's have a look here. Man, none of the other ones have done any... They usually like to take over my positions, though. <laughs> it's fucking annoying. What's going to be useful here? Income from settlement buildings. I really need more cash. Yeah, uh, it wasn't that much extra, but it'll add up over time. Okay, you are out of here. Alright, easy order resolve. There's another army close by, but that can't really do much. Alright, so yeah, this, this province here doesn't have a tower. But we've already got an outpost, so the other one can be a factory. Maybe traits count auto resolve. Um, I've never known that to be true, and I don't see how Thorgrim's defeat trait would possibly give you um, a benefit with that. All right, so yeah, we've already got his magic sorted. We could get Greater Arcane Conduit, but it might be a good idea to make him a tougher fighter. Yeah. Yep, that's all fine. Doomless. Maybe we'll just recruit a little bit more trash here. Yep. Money's okay. Alright, so that province is under control. Alright, put a factory, this one here. Now, get rid of that. Okay, we're, we're doing pretty well for armaments, but the raw materials needs to increase that. Because if we have a look at this, that provides 200 raw materials, and this one here consumes 225. So that'll be a loss of 200, sorry, 25 for the entire province. Until we can get that cost down. Or this one to increase it. Um, oh, that's also a, a tier 2 one as well. I'd say go with... Yeah, extra armaments. What else could you want, really? Okay, what else are we doing? Let's watch Volan's newest video on hyenas. It came out a couple of hours ago. Very interesting. He got a lot of hyenas dev giving him inside info. Ooh, that's juicy. I'll definitely check that out later. Hehehehe <laughs>
Volan's very good at at getting that kind of uh, information. He's very good at it. Um. So if I build this, I can get some animal cages, exotic animals, so that I can um, I can trade that. No global bonuses there. I don't think I can really justify spending any more of the raw materials, or else this is going to completely stifle my economy. So let's just go with that for now. And then as it develops, we just, we've got to get more raw materials. And this one over here. Yeah, just hold off on that. Oh, I should really build that right away. I need some cash. Let's see if I can find it. Northmen come. Now. Blood that okay, these guys will give me a I little bit of cash. I think it's enough. Tribal no, I don't want peace with them. Although that would give me enough money. A non-aggression pact here, and a trade agreement, would give me the money that I need to build that building. Well, it doesn't look like I'm going up this way anyway, so... Let's do that. Okay, because yeah, I really fucking need more raw materials. Maybe we should consider... Once, once we're done what I'm doing here, we should start doing some industry ones to try to increase the amount of efficiency with our raw materials, because it's lacking a little bit. I'm going ham on Conclave Influence, which is why we've got five seats while, before anyone else got one. Is this one here leveled up? Still got one active, right? Yeah, I do. Okay. And I still got a little bit of cash now. Just leave it. And let's move on. Why do you have so many individual lords? You don't have supply lines as the Chaos Dwarves. And... Okay, so... There's a bit of a weird balancing at the beginning of a... Of a Chaos Dwarf campaign, especially on Legendary Difficulty. You don't have a lot of armaments, and so you end up in a case where you just can only recruit hobgoblins. And trying to get too many armaments will stifle your economy. So if you want good quality units, there's a unit that doesn't require armaments to increase the... Ooh, okay. Maybe Astragos can jump over. Maybe. I wasn't expecting that. Um, and there's no supply lines. The Chaos Dwarf Lord, the Overseer, is actually really bloody strong. Uh, no. I'm, I just can't justify that expenditure. Alright, they claimed a Tower of Zar Siege, but did they take over one of my positions? No, he just went and claimed Casualty Replenishment Rate. That's oh, look, and they gave this one over here. Yeah, that's fine, as long as they're not kicking me out of my seats, that's fine. Yeah, okay. Astrogoth is able to reinforce here. There's no way he was going to intercept me. If he attempted it, he'd just get wrecked. Alright, you launch the attack. Do you want to move the unique items off convoy so Lord's fighting? Well, most of the, most of the items that I'm getting are shit at the moment. There's nothing special. So I'll just move them as needed. I, I don't, really don't like spending a lot of time managing my items every turn, especially when we're, it's going to make no difference whatsoever. So I'll do it when we need to. Because yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of potentially busy busybody micromanagement that you can do in this game that's just, just a waste of time. And that's one of them. Like, perfect vigor. When I'm order resolving like this, who cares? It doesn't make any difference. Yeah, just don't need it. Alright, so we've already got an outpost. Like I said, I only ever put one outpost in a province, so we'll go with factory there. Okay, they're gone. And we should have gotten that mission sorted. That's a good item. Yep, cool. Gave us a good amount of money there. Alright, next stop, Greasus. If we have a look at his strength ranking, it's a little bit higher than us. 
Hang on. No, I didn't mean to do that. Has he got another enemy yet? Yeah, he just sits around doing nothing. The AI is just so ridiculously passive now. That one there, you should definitely make that a... Um, uh, what's it called? A... Outpost. No, a factory, because that is likely to get attacked by... By busybody Cathayans. So these guys will swing around this way, but just be a bit cautious. Wish I had another hero. Oh, I do have... Yeah, could, yeah. could send this guy to go with them. He doesn't need to be an Astrogoth's army. Because if, if I could use him to scout ahead, I'll know not to make certain attacks. That might actually be a good idea. Because Astrogoth would be fine. Alright. Let's have a look here. So we don't need... Actually, no, that could be useful for now. A little bit of extra cash, definitely good. All right, let's do that. Big, uh, takes a long time to get a return on investment with that though. Great Skull Lakes here. Let's upgrade that. It's not particularly safe, but let's do it. Firemouth. Yep, let's do that one. That's not a bad building, it's just that 10% on this isn't going to provide us with a hell of a lot of value. And I've almost got enough now to upgrade Uzkalak. I'll get that. I think I can get it next turn if I pop this back down. Alright, let's also check our labor. I've actually got enough to get to 100%, I just need to rearrange it. Yep. Cool. Get 200% there. Bit of management. And... Alright. It's not that I want Metallurgy. I want Conclave Dominance. Because that's going to give us a lot more Conclave influence per turn. Oh, wow. I've only got two towers. Oh, Winds of Magic Power Reserve will be good. And that'll also allow us to grab this. That'll be very handy. Let me just have a look in industry for a second. Labor gained post boss. 5%? Nothing. That save us a fair bit of money. I've got the um, the armaments for that. Okay, let's do that. That'll save us quite a bit of cash. Okay, yeah. Let's get more of the... Uh, yeah, I need more, more troops. If we're going to go take on Greasus, I need more troops. Alright. Amount of money. Let's have a look in diplomacy, see if there's anything interesting, which I doubt. Well, oh, hang on. Clan Ferric want to trade. But they're at war with Archaeon, which means they're dead, so don't do any deals with them. They're out of here. Uh, let's go non aggression pact with them. Um, uh, military access, I mean. Yeah, that's all fine. Cool, let's move on. What can you recommend for Imperium Frontline? Just hero spam? Their troops are ter terrible. Yeah, um, hero spam is usually the way to go for frontline for them. Yeah, because their their troops are terrible. Ceaseless march is also good for research for the campaign movement. Yes, not essential for us right now, but absolutely that would be good to get.
There's one tech saving 10% upkeep with Hobgobos. Yes, you're right. That, that is true. Um, yes, I should get that after this one. Because this only takes one turn. I think that one takes a bit more. Okay. Who wants to see a big cheese? Who wants to see a really, really big cheese? Ooh, this is not too bad. I feel like the Conclave influence is the best out of all of those. Because we've got to sort of spice it up this campaign a little bit. And I've got just the thing to, to spice it up. So, I have a bunch of lords that have the grudge killer trait. I should have, let me have a look. We've got one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. I got 26 of them still sitting there, right? Now, I don't know if Creative Assembly has patched this. I didn't see any of the patch notes, but there was a video I was going to make a while ago, and I just lost interest because it requires quite a bit of effort. So, in typical CA fashion, they didn't really play test this particularly well. In terms of getting... Uh, spending uh, raw materials if you get the construction costs down below zero percent it actually starts giving you raw materials so using the grudge killer trait which reduces construction costs in the local province by 10 percent you can essentially build something it'll building it will give you resources and then you demolish it and it'll also give you resources <laughs> so but do you remember the tomb king's cheese the only downside is is that i'll be paying i'll be paying let's see uh 2380 gold at least per turn in upkeep cost to do it so we can't currently afford that Alright, you come to Shmuel. Greasus isn't there. I would prefer to get the jump on him, but it's okay. Alright, you need to look up ahead. Just make sure Greasus isn't on the way. But then you have to pay for all those lords? Yes, that's right. So it, it comes at a cost. It definitely comes at a cost. Okay, so let's get Stronghold Syndrome. So that'll be good for my hobgoblins, which I've got a lot of. Hang on, if I go up here... Where's the, um, camp... Yeah, Ceaseless March. That's a good one. Yeah, we should consider doing that. Alright, we should be able to reach Veil vale of Titans next turn. And I need to see where Greasus is going to be. Hopefully he doesn't just throw all of his force at us here. Maybe I should send... No, no, I need you to save my upkeep cost. Oh, uh, Astro... Oh, then again. This isn't great against... Ogres. It's a great spell, but it's not great against ogres. Yeah, he's going to declare war on me at some point, so let's just sort it out. Alright, what are we going to build? We're going to build... Okay, I said we wanted to build... Uzkalak up. I'm at 72% efficiency. Because we're not fighting any bloody battles. Enemies is not being thrown at us. 
Alright, Karag Vrag. We could build nothing of any real value. Yeah, just chill. Okay, we've got enough Conclave Influence for something else. Oh, wow, Astrogoth. Uh, both of them, they went and bought another thing real quick. Okay, so that's good. We've, everybody gets that. If I build this one here, that's not super essential for us, but that will allow us to start moving into the next tier. That would be good as well. We'll get that later. Let's go with this one here so we can start moving up to tier 2. Okay. And that should mean that we have auto siege attacker now as well. No, don't negotiate with them. Okay, Warhost of Tsar. Let's trade with them. Cool. No sense in being enemies. Alright. And let's move on. Do you think the Chorfs have the strongest technology tree in Warhammer 3? Uh, it's pretty strong. I don't know if it's the strongest. Let's actually go so far as to say Norska is the strongest. You got the amulet for 12% wall type? It's 16%. Yeah, yeah. Well, I manage this stuff more if we were actually under some sort of pressure, which we're not. <laughs> After taking out Grimgore, it was just like the game was like, oh, I give up. Srini so says, Yesterday I saw Eagle Claw Bolt Throwers having Chained Lightning and Strength Potion in place of single and multiple shot. Well, I, I've definitely never seen that one before. That's That's got to be a bug. So power overwhelming? No. No. Okay. Yeah, I need labor. Or school cars at a platoon. Alright, big army over here. Burger. Dabarazun! Alright, who's got the ma uh, we shouldn't need the mount, but let me just check. One of these has got a mount option. Oh, don't tell me it's the one at the friggin' rear. Uh, I'm fairly sure since we got... Where is it? Since we got... This here. Yeah, immediately causes breaches when... Besiege, we should automatically have Siege Attacker now. I could have them take out the Veil of Titan camp first, though. Because that army is not a huge concern, but it makes me a little bit concerned. To find out oh, this is a good time to declare war on him since he's a little bit busy. Let's do it. Easy order. Alright, so we've already got factory, outpost, so it's another factory. Oh yeah, that one specifically said we need that to be a factory, because this, this settlement can come under attack a fair bit. Cool. We're not going to be able to get all of them to um, stand on that. I'm not one in charge around here. How important is it really that we take out that camp? 
thing is, this is a very small number of units, and there's a full stack right here. I expect it'll be charging up here, but we, we should try to recruit some more units. Unless it swings around over this way. That's why I've got this guy here to scout ahead. I need to find out where his armies are. Yeah, 666 supply, yep. That's the safe option. That's the non-safe option. I'm gonna go with the non-safe option. I should put that on um, Astroboth when the time comes. Let's get that Talisman of Preservation on him, just in case he gets attacked. Oh my god, doesn't even have his Stone Mantle. Oh yeah, we shouldn't put the Talisman of Preservation on him. Stone Mantle's unique to him. Why didn't that get order? Look at this, no set bonus. Why? Why? Wait, was that able to launch the attack? Yes. Yep. I have two banners of swiftness. Oh, well, awesome. I do too. Well, I don't know which one's which. I'll just take this one. Oh, shit. Taran did a five dollar super chat. That area towards the west looks like a dystopian oil field. Yep, yeah, suppose so. Okay, so the order resolve's not giving us amazing results there. Pyrrhic victory. How dare it? How dare it? Why is it still that? Because it's got gluttony. Giving them an army ability. Alright, I might have to fight this manually because I'm expecting a counter attack, so we need to make sure we're at full strength. So, this guy here, we can put him on a Great Taurus map. No. No, you're actually better off on foot. Yeah, it's weird. You're actually better off on foot. Alright, give you a Talisman of Preservation. Now you have to wait for all of them. But that should be fine. Yeah, order resolve is not acceptable. Let's do this. Looks like we set up over here, but all of our reinforcements come here, so we should stay close to them. Or not. We'll deploy over here. That way this will be completely empty and these guys can launch a proper attack from there. Yeah, that sounds good. Because, yeah, Chaos Dwarf um, Overseers beat the crap out of Ogres. Alright, so our reinforcements are coming in from over here. We should set... Set this guy up on the opposite side. Right here. And yeah, look, all of their forces are here, and none of them are over here, where it actually matters. First manual battle in an hour and a half. Hey, what do you want me to do? I'll fight the battles when I need to. So this... All right, reinforcements have arrived. And there's, yeah, there's just nothing here. Silly ogres. Where was the breaches anyway? Oh, 
Where the hell were the breaches? Am I blind? Oh, there they are. Yeah, not really worth it going in there, it's just mainly for the siege attacker, that's what it's there for. It'd be quickest for these guys. Oh, yeah, no, I don't want to get them exhausted. No, no, no. Go to melee. So yeah, they're still all just staring at us. <laughs> this should actually end up being a tower. That'd be good, I need more towers. They're taking forever. Forget it. Go this way. <laughs> They're taking forever to get through that. And yeah, they're just sort of staring at us. Don't, don't bother. I didn't realize how slow they would be at getting through the gate. Never mind. Why'd these two take the long way around? <laughs> They're sending a couple of units, but all the ogres are just sitting there staring at us. Red alert? Yeah, yeah, we've got red alert. Yeah. 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 Can't do anything about it. Here's where it is. I'll have the laborers capture this. I want these guys to just, um... This is, it's not my computer, it's the internet shitting itself. It happens. It happens at least, like, three times a stream. It's part of it. Yeah, don't even bother going through that. Coming. They will smash up our orc laborers, but if the archers can get into position quickly enough, we'll actually destroy them really quick. These guys here, just keep moving this way. Okay, no time. You gotta get organized right now. And they're not staring at us anymore. Now would be a good time to just wait, just wait a little bit longer. Ah, piss. Have to break through. Quicker than going around. Alright, you start coming in over this way.
Okay. Um, these guys here can easily fight. They're, oh, we've got Winds of Magic. I should probably use some of it. Just out of range. Anyway. I've also got this. I should have used it, actually. Seems to be going pretty well here. Right, these three here have taken too much damage. Let's leave them in reserve. these in the back if we can. I don't think we're going to win by capping it. I do think we are going to army loss them pretty soon. Barely taken any damage and they've lost at least half their army now. Should have put the potion of toughness on him. I'll pull him out of the fight and just use him this way. What Nurgle Lord do you think will be in the next DLC? Tamarakan. Uh, Jason Driscoll did a $20 super chat. But enjoying the live stream, here's a small bump towards your future-proofed new PC. Alright, thanks dude, yeah. Yeah, we've definitely been uh, doing some research on that. So, should be about a month and we'll have a new computer. Because yeah, this one's just not keeping up anymore. Alright, that's definitely what was much better than Order Resolve. But it was a seat. Oh yeah. Tower, nice. Yeah, we cool. Okay, that's good. And yep, that's good. And I don't have enough raw materials for that. Okay, that's fine. Because, yeah, that's not going anywhere. That's not essential for me to deal with. And don't accept new labor there right now. Okay, I don't have... I don't have enough labor to go around, but there are some that have more than they need. That'll just increase our efficiency to get some more raw materials. Alright, Astrogoth leveled up. That's good. Alright, what was I doing with him? Yeah, we definitely want him to be more of a one-man doom stack. He's very good with that. Yep. 
Decent amount of armaments. Tain Gaming chucking in the $20 super chat. Thanks, dude. Always appreciate your support. And this overseer. Yeah, extra weapon strength would not go to waste, I think. Alright, we still need to recruit more here. Uh, I can't justify that cost. Just go with the cheap shit. Bearded Freckle with a tender super chat. Am I a cheese boy for selling a bunch of land to the other chores prior to confederating them? Great stream as always. Uh, yeah, I'd say that's cheesy. Yeah, nothing, nothing too extreme, but how dare you? How dare you cheese the game? Thanks for super chat. Alright, salt would be good to sell. I do need more money. Uh, Grashan Rozinski, I'm sure I butchered that name, did a 10 pill and super chat. Hi, are you considering another charity stream? Uh, now is not really a great time, I think, to do a charity stream. I will probably do another one in the future, but not right now. Now, now would be a very bad time to do it. Yeah, the timing of charity live streams is really important. Yeah, I do need more cash, and some, selling some salt to our trade partners would be good. Alright, Blood Peak has got this here. Which, we're not in the province anymore, so probably don't need that. There. Thoughts on Noctilus and Wormer 3? Um, meh. Doesn't really draw my interest very much. Not bad, not great. This has got Ancor. He's dark Arthur Wanturas. Okay. Well, that hasn't really hurt Greece's that much. He's, in fact, his strength ranking went up. Or well, ours went down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Corn dogs all around. Alright, so this place over here, I'd say, yeah, just try to maintain public order for now. And let's move on. I thought you couldn't confed right after selling stuff to another faction. It, de it depends on which faction you're playing as. So when you're playing as the Chaos Dwarfs, you just click a button and auto confed when you've got enough um, Conclave influence. But if you're playing High Elves, for example, that isn't going to be the case. So there's different conditions depending on what race you're playing. The Chaos Dwarves don't confederate diplomatically. They do it through their um, Tower of Tsar. How would I improve Carl Franz's campaign? You need to readjust how the um, the Imperial Authority works because currently most players end up in the negative through no fault of their own very quickly. So I think that you need to either start off with say plus five Imperial Authority or make it so that negative Imperial Authority isn't so detrimental in the early stages of the game. So it really comes down to Imperial Authority. Because if you just remove the Imperial Authority mechanic completely, the player will be fine. You know, some Elector Council die, who cares? At least your entire campaign doesn't start to fall apart. Okay, that's good. That saves us a bit of cash. This guy didn't move at all, for some reason. I don't know why. Alright, well, we know where Greasus is now. So, six, seven, six, okay. We've really got this the wrong way around. Astrogoth should be over here, and these guys should be over here, because Astrogoth has got the easy stuff. If these two armies decide to come up here together, we're not going to be able to cope. Axo Ardugan! 
character. So I've got to put the fear of Astrogoth into them by threatening to attack a settlement. Let me look here. Yeah, they can't jump over there. How's their strength ranking? Yeah, it's stronger than ours. Our forces are divided and theirs are united, so we've got to be careful here. See, I can basically gut his underbelly over this way, but we really need to take out his army. And he'll likely avoid Astrogoth's army. At Zorna's cool, we've got 8 units. That's going to take a few turns to replenish. That's not super, super expensive. Um, hmm. Because, yeah, if I stand here, I could threaten Amble Peak. But if they take both of these armies and go to Amble Peak, he can't reach. Greasers can't reach Amble Peak. But if he's if they've got two armies are standing here and I take Amble Peak, well, then that's not good either. Well, we stand here. Move him. Okay. Okay. He's fucking recruiting. Okay. These armies need to just chill. Okay. Put everyone into this army. And yeah, we need to chill and just recruit as much crap as we possibly can. If they put one army in Amble Peak, I'll send Ast Astrogoth there. Well, basically, we'll take him, send him wherever he's going to dish out the most damage. I really doubt this army is going to attack us. Even if this one here was to force march, that actually could happen. He could come over here, attack us, and this one might force march. But I reckon I'd just be able to smash him. Uh, Simon Barkhoba did a 5 dollars super chat. Do you know why they nerfed the Archlector skill line of Warhammer 3? Also love your vids. Yeah, it was a bit overpowered. That's probably why they nerfed it. Um... Aside from that, yeah, what else can do? Thanks for the chat, though. Appreciate it. Uh, these guys here, actually, I don't think we should go into ambush dance. We should just remain here, as, looking as strong as we possibly can. Just puff our chests out to try to dissuade them from coming up here. While I recruit some more trash, because that's all I can do. I can recruit. That's not too much of an extra cost. Yeah, get those orc laborers. So that's all I got available. But we got some money coming in, so we can make do with that. Alright, what else is going on? Yeah, look, I don't know why Creative Assembly does anything. They don't exactly tell me. It's not like they go, Hey, Legend, this is why we're doing this. I don't fucking know. I don't barely even talk to Creative Assembly anymore. I don't imagine they're particularly happy with me either. So... I can't tell you why Creative Assembly does something. I can only tell you that they are or are not doing anything. Alright, Blood Peak is a factory. I don't want more of this right now. We're not going to have enough raw materials. I do need more money, but again, raw materials. I could just chill. That wouldn't be worth it. Just chill there. Yep, just chill. Chill. Uh huh. Yeah, this is nothing to do. Anything that I build here is just not going to be worth it. Okay, so we just got Stronghold Syndrome. That's good. Um, recruitment cost reduction is definitely good, but it's also a Ceaseless March. Call to war. That's okay. That's pretty good. We did also want to get up to here. That's going to be very handy. Yeah, I think I'll start making my way towards Ceaseless March. Wind of Death goes whoosh. Yes, it does. What do you think of Radiant Ashes got cosplay of you? Oh, I was so offended. That was, uh, I was, I, be, I was destroyed. <laughs> How dare she? Make fun of my pride. How dare she? I'll never host her again. No, I'm just kidding. It's fine. 
Um. Squeak. Yeah, no, no, they're about to die, so don't, don't negotiate Dominic. with them. Defensive alliance with them could be a mistake because Archeon might decide to attack them. I could get some money out of them, but I think let's just wait and see. If I can become friends with Archeon first, then I'll do it. Yeah, unfortunately, there's just nothing here that's of any real value. I could build this one here. This will give us some extra defenses, actually. Alright, let's upgrade this one and this one, because I kind of feel like if Greece is going to come up this way, we need all the defenses we can get. Wait, can I get the bombs? No, no, can't do that just yet. And let's have a look at this. Yeah, we're we we got to we got to get a proper battle going. Too much. I tell you what, we'll get plenty of labor when we start fighting Hillman Gorst. The ogres just don't provide enough unless they're spamming Noblars, which he's not doing. He does a little bit. Right, we'll see. Here we go. These guys are so fucking cowardly. Holy shit. <laughs> the AI. It's like the biggest bitch. What's the quickest you can unlock Dreadquake Mortars? Uh, pretty quick. I don't know what... I can't give you an exact number. Probably turn five. Rick just will span slaves, just write what you need. Yes, they will, won't they? But I'm not near Rick just right now. Right, he's positioned himself in such a way that he can attack Karakazorn and also reinforce this army if it wants to attack Amble Peak. Now, do I have any regiments of renown available? I got a few. I could attack him. I could. Problem is... What's he using? Global recruitation. Okay. Hmm. I don't have many archers. And these guys here aren't going to do a whole lot. Leadership 41 means basically zero. Yeah, I thought... they get destroyed. Hmm. How strong is he compared to us? Equal. So the safest option for Astrogoth would be to come down to the Moorgate. This guy here can't reinforce here. Alright, I know what I need to do. I know what I need to do. We need to go into ambush stance here and trick Greasus into launching an attack on Karakazorn. So what I'm doing is going into ambush stance within the zone of control of Karakazorn. Yeah, put all these guys in ambush stance so that Greasus doesn't know about it. We don't put it in front of him. Because we want to fight the battle at Karakazorn, right? This guy here can only force march to... Oh, that could reinforce Greasus, though. He won't do that if we leave an insufficient amount of force. We're going to need to rush construction here. Because, yeah, the garrison's not great. Um, so I need to put in some... How many labors do I need? 100 in Karakazorn. Which is this province here. Rush it. Okay, those units are there. Cool. A few extra troops. What happened? Did we get a red alert? Yeah, we had a mini F, it seems. Sorry, guys. 
Internet's being choppy. Can't do anything about it. All right, now this guy here. I think we should put the Talisman of Preservation on a different one because if this guy dies, it'll be lost. Same thing with that Potion of Toughness. Oh, that's fine. Okay, okay. I want you to be hidden. You come over here. That's better. Doom Skull Key. Sanaru. Apuru. Right, we're gonna need regiments of renown, all of them. We want them hidden. Oh god, I got no money. Okay. Well, okay. If we're gonna get anything, obviously get the blunderbusses. Yeah, and those ones. But don't put them inside the settlement. And then we want to put. A few units in this army here to make it look like we're weak. So that Greasus launches the attack without anybody suspecting anything. Not too much. Okay, so now it looks like I've got a measly amount of force here. Greasus should come up through here, not get ambushed. Hopefully. Yeah, you shouldn't get ambushed. He'll launch the attack. It'll be a complete mistake. And we'll smash him. <laughs> I think. We'll see. We'll see. Then over here. Because if we attack this, we could get double teamed by Greasus. It's probably not a good idea. Instead, I'll go to the Moorgate. Chase after that other army. Oh, good. He's... Alright, he was standing close by. So that was a good call, because now we can just kill him easily. Yep, cool. Anything that we can do to damage Greece's army is exactly what we want to do. Probably should have done that first. And this Moor Gate has a resource, which means it needs to be an outpost. Yep, that's fine. That's fine. If I had the money, I'd upgrade it, but I don't. Okay, now we're stronger than Greasus. It's just a matter now of whether or not our little deception here works. Thing is, ogres are very good at um, assaulting settlements. But inside the settlement, we'll have extra leadership. We just have to hope he doesn't, like, charge at us too quickly. Because it, it'll take time for them to come in. It'll also take time for us to get to the required point. But, you know, we'll have a few units there. We'll just have to hold out until they arrive. Okay, we got some Conclave Influence. Alright, I don't, I don't care about the lower one. Let, let them have them. We want to move up to these Tier 2 ones now. Quicker. Actually, get the gits as good as no. Yeah, do that. Need more. Need more raw materials. Okay, that one there has six more than it should. Oops. <laughs> okay. And... Let's move on. Alright, let's see what happens here. You know what? What's the bet that Greasus just, like, walks away? He's like, oh, I don't know, this looks tough, I'm just gonna walk away. Hmm, all right, we'll find out soon enough. All right, he's coming in, he's coming in, and... 
Yeah, fucking fucked up, bitch. <laughs> it worked. Alright, now, for those of you at home who are wondering, why did Greasus make this attack? Here's some understanding about how the AI works. Alright, Greasus didn't see these armies. Once the AI... So, when he besieged the settlement, all he saw was this army and this army. And he felt, in his balance of power, was enough. But as soon as he launches the attack, this army and this one was revealed, which brought it over the line, and once they've launched the attack, the AI doesn't ever back off. So, fuck ya. Yeah. Oh no, I lost one laborer. What? Why are we not getting any labor? I'm actually better off just with the money. Plan worked exactly as I wanted it to. That's why I put them in ambush stance behind the, the settlement. So many people put their ambushes in front of the settlement and then their ambushes get foiled and then the AI backs off. But I want him to launch the attack. Made myself just weak enough to make him go for it. Hey, room. Yes, but you'll pay more. <laughs> it's like a typical dwarf. Uh, how about more deals? Yeah, we'll get non-aggression and yeah, pay more, please. Yeah, it's fine. Love this tactic. It always works. It doesn't always work. It was a gamble, but it paid off. Every tactic is in many ways a gamble. It's, you just gotta weigh your odds, you know, whether you got like 50% chance of success, 80%, 90%. Usually I try to go for as high as... Oh my god. It is mostly trash. Yeah, it's fine. Give me labor, labor, lots of labor. 200, yeah, whatever, nothing. Greenskins seem to give the best. Income from trade tariffs will help us out a little bit. But that should... Oh yeah, he's, he's given up now, basically. Alright, I still need to see what's going on down here. This army just wants to stay put. So I think that's a new recruit there. This army is nowhere near as tough as what Greece's army was, but we're licking our wounds a little bit. Yeah, licking our wounds a bit. I'm not sure if our armies are strong enough to take that on just this very second. Actually, we're very lucky that this one here showed up instead of that one, because that actually could have been a problem. I had five armies there, technically. I should have moved that one further away. Okay, I could have a Astrogoth come up this way to attack Anvil Peak, because he's at full strength. And this guy here will probably just run away. I don't think he'll sit in Amble Peak. This one's not even recruiting anything right now. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. I'm going to move in encamp stance down this way. I think these guys will be fine. This guy's going to have the chance to attack us from that distance. So we're going into encamp stance because this will give us extra bonus stats. Right, if he attacks this one here, all of them show up to help. And just recruit more labor. And yeah, you... Oh, shit. Nah, you, you can handle that. 
Okay, meanwhile, we should gut Greece's main economy territory. If I stand here like this, this one might force march down this way, leaving these guys free to attack Ample Peak. I'm a little bit concerned that they'll send an army down here, so I'm going to leave a lord here to deal with it. Let's get another grudge killer. Why not? Can you confed Drazawath if he died using the Conclave? I don't think so. You'll have to revive him. Okay. That all seems fine. Yeah, a little bit of replenishment still to do though. Alright, I don't exactly have a lot of cash. Let's have a look what we can get. Okay, that's good. Let's get that going. And, yeah, I don't have any more cash. Alright, so we just got the call to war. Let's get martial training, because I want to get... Oh, see, it's as much as 5%. It's not that much, actually. Um, maybe I shouldn't bother. Yeah, I'm not going to bother. It's only 5%. I thought it was more than that. I'm going to go up this way. Get that conclave dominance. It's really good. Cool. Alright, let's check diplomacy again. See what's available. No. Dolgan's okay to trade with. Because they're be vassal honest, of rather be raiding, Kolek. Okay. What? These guys really want defensive alliance. Which, if I do that, Archeon's probably not going to declare war on them. Which is a good thing. And this will be a way for me to get a bit of cash real quick. Military alliance. Now, I'll just stick with that for now. Yeah, he's ready for peace, but I'm not ready yet. Let's have a look at this, make sure there's no... Okay, we got... Labour where it kind of shouldn't be. Let's just do a bit of a reset. Okay. Oh, do we have another convoy to go out? No, he's still going. Okay, and let's move on. What are your top three most fun factions in the game right now? Uh, I do really like Chaos Dwarfs, but I think the most fun for me is probably Scarbrand and Warriors of Chaos. Specifically, Bellicor. Bellicor is really fun. Yeah, if we're gonna beg for peace. Nah. Nah, I got you by the... I got you by the balls. Is he gonna make the attack? Oh, he's going for it! No, he's not. Oh, he's going into ambush dance. That was a mistake, because I could just pull him out of that using, um, encamp stance. He's gonna... It's gonna backfire on him. Bro, why I think you should be a fissin' good CEO about this game. Look, just because I, I can play this game doesn't mean I should be the CEO of Creative Assembly. And I also don't want to be the CEO of Creative Assembly. I don't even want to work for Creative Assembly at all. So... Here's the thing. If I was the CEO, what might end up happening is I might make one great Total War game and then run the company bankrupt. You know, maybe, maybe the scumbags, money grubbing, whatever. Maybe they're the whole reason the company stayed afloat. Who knows? I just, I just don't know. Oh, nice. And he got pulled out of ambush dance. 
This is why you don't go in an ambush dance in front of this many characters. <laughs> Dumbass. And we're only stronger now. What a dumb dumb. Oof. That's a good follow of that one. Oh, Greasus, you are so fucked. And I'm auto resolving a lot of battles in this campaign. Alright, so this one here has got access to gold. When there's a tradable. Oh man, I can't remember. When there's a tradable. So you go with outposts, I believe. That means there'll be two outposts on this one. Or should we go factory? I'm gonna go outpost. I've already got an outpost, but I'm pretty sure. Let me just plan this out a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Because the other two buildings, we're one of these two. Yep. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Yep, yeah, that works for me. And let's upgrade that because, yeah, we're making actually pretty good coin out of that. Yep, let's upgrade that. Alright, looking at tech. Alright, Conclave Dominance will take three turns. This will give us extra Winds of Magic Power Reserve per turn, which is good. And give us more Conclave Influence per turn for every uh, tower that we've got, which is good. Yeah, that's not useful right now. No one takes three turns. Cool. Cool. Alright, I think this one here should make the attack. Actually, no. We should have the one that's got the fewest number of troops make the attack, because that way we can put everyone else here in encamp stance. So they get their stat bonuses. Ooh, Pyrrhic victory. How bad's the damage? Looks like I might have to actually fight this manually. Which... Should be fine. Alright, let's do it. Here we go, here's the battle for you. Have they fixed the Recruit Exalted units in Warband Upgrades for the Wars of Chaos yet? I don't know, sorry, I haven't tested it out. Ceaseless March got nerfed, it was 10% before. Ugh, great, whatever. What's with the nerfs? Game director would be a title that works. Yeah, look, I, I appreciate that, the, the vote of confidence, but it's just never going to happen. Do you think Creative Assembly, a company that has been known to have pretty brittle skin, would ever hire someone like me that's been so critical about them? It's just, it'll never happen. Hmm, coming in from different locations. Well, if they just sit there... Yep, cool. If they just sit there, that gives us time to set up. Also, yeah, the first thing I'd do if I was ever in charge is let it get a new engine. But of course, who knows how many millions that costs to do. Well, CA needs a real competitor. I think that would actually be a good thing for us, yeah. Wouldn't be great for CA, because that means they'd have to actually put in some effort and actually probably make a new engine. Because as long as this current engine is making money, I don't think they're going to invest. Uh, Timo Mimo 1994 did a 10 euro super chat. I hope I am not too late for a new computer fundraising. Thanks for the content legend. You guys, there is no uh, new computer fundraising. I can afford it. I just need my next paycheck. But thanks for super chat. Appreciate you.
All right, the problem that we've got here is just a lot of orc laborers. Which, against scary units like um, Ogre Bulls, they might struggle. We do have this. That'll give them immune to psychology, though. Temporarily. Fernando did a 10 euro super chat. So happy with all your recent streams. We really value your content. Any chance for a Hellman, sorry, Hellman Gorse campaign? Your only vampire account stream that I found was the Manfred one. That way you sick. Yeah, um, thanks super chat. Look, I just don't really enjoy the vampire accounts, to be honest. I'll, look, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I might, I'm not going to say no, but I just don't like playing vampire accounts in Warhammer 3. I much prefer them in Warhammer 2. Alright, how are we going to go about this? It's still playing their music, so the balance of power must be in their favor. Probably not by much. Oh no, it's playing our music now. Alright, honestly, if we attack from over here, that choke point means that these guys will have to take a, take a little while to get over here, and that's relatively gentle. Alright, you guys stand there, and let's get all of this over to about here. We'll protect our flanks using the heroes, Heroes. But yeah, not gonna lie, a little bit worried about these orc laborers. We need to make sure that Chaos Dwarfs are standing behind them, or else they don't have that contempt. Uh, Dirt Thirsty Day $2 Super Chat. Do AI factions research technologies at all? Yes, they do. Yep. They get cheats to their research rate, but certain factions, like the High Elves, you can usually just whiz right past the AI anyway. Wemmer 2 had better AI? Indeed it did. Yep. Alright, don't fire at will yet. I think this guy in the middle of them would be best. I think that heroes provide more of an encourage bonus than lords do, weirdly enough. Alright, they put all their forces over here. Okay, that's good. That's good. That means that these guys can fight in amongst them because they're, they're good against ogres. Blob versus Blob, who wins? I think we'll win because we'll have the archers shooting at all their fatzos. Oh, he fat shamed them. <coughs> Excuse me. I think we should charge up at them. That's what I think. So that's what we're going to do. <coughs> actually, no. No, the blunderbusses, they've actually got a pretty good angle from here. If we charge up the hill, they're not going to be able to shoot properly. So I'll get them to come at us. That's easy enough. All i got to do is use this one here to use Spirit Leech on uh, just anyone, really. And here we go. Just give them a moment, they'll come at us. Yeah, right in there. Make sure they've got a clean line of sight. Hmm? 
They're sitting there and taking it. Well, we get, get some free shots on them. Okay, here they come. Oh yeah, here we go. Nice good kill zone with this one. This one's going to get lots of damage in. Pop this down so we don't get too scared. Debuff, please. Spirit Leech there, lord. Oh no. It's a Beast Wizard. That guy's going to get a lot of damage in real quick. Yeah, he is. Oh, we are, we are fucking slaughtering them. Look at this shit. Okay, we need you to get rid of that Beast Wizard right now. He needs to go. Immediately. Otherwise, he's going to inflict so many fucking kills. Okay, I gotta bring this one a little bit more this way. Okay, cool, we broke him. These guys are under attack over here, need to move more this way. Yeah, killing him will help route all these guys. We're a bit iffy over here, but I think we're okay. Need you to kill him. One more hit. You can do it. Don't escort him off the battlefield. Eat that fat. Oh, come on. One more hit. Eat that fat. Eat it. There we go. Good stuff. Should concentrate over here. See if we can terror out them. And there we go. I don't think any of our units got wiped out, but there's some pretty close calls there. Our infantry is not going to be able to catch up to ogres, but this guy here can. Do you know you can actually lose Forge of Death items with Wood Elves? I didn't know that. Yeah, that would require me to lose a battle though. <laughs> yeah, that would suck. So many laborers. Well, the problem with this uh, system is that you just can't recruit all your best units all the time. It was recruited out of necessity, at, not out of desire. Even if Drazoeth is dead, you will get him by Conclave. Okay, thanks, thanks for that um, information.
A little surprised how well those laborers held up. Well, I, I stacked as many leadership buffs as I possibly could. Uh, Garrett Ratchford did a five dollar super chat. How would you deal with actually the spam stack? Is chaos what? How would you deal with an Axina spam stack is chaos dwarves? Just more bull centaurs with shields, regular bull centaurs get torn to shreds. Um, I don't know. I I haven't gone up against it. This is the first time I played the chaos dwarves for like several months. Um, so I haven't gone up against it. Typically speaking, I just. I don't know, just try to outmaneuver the enemy. I don't worry about what unit I've got available. Like, if I go up a certain enemy, I usually just don't worry about, oh, I better go recruit this. I just fucking just go with whatever I've got and I either win or I don't. <laughs> so, this is not the mindset I use. Okay, that got a decent amount of labor. I mean, look, look what I'm doing here. Recruiting nothing but orc labors, you know, people would ask, you know, what do you do about ogres? I don't know, I just, I just fight. I just fight. And if I win, I win. If I don't win, I don't win. You know? If it were up to me, I'd already have a full stack of bull centaur renders. It's just not feasible to do that by turn 22. And there is a certain quality in just having quantity. Because at the end of the day, if you have trouble with them on the battlefield, just spam shit units and auto resolve it. It works. It just works. The auto resolve is pretty fair, favorable, I suppose, in this game. All right, I'm probably gonna have to fight it again manually. I don't think I'm going to be able to squeeze that many of them in here. Yeah, that guy's not going to be able to squeeze in. That guy's got the Potion of Toughness. Let's give the Potion of Toughness over to this one since it's a little bit damaged. Who's going to watch the attack? Okay, you do it. Yeah, it's just, there's too narrow. I can't get enough of my armies in there. Yeah, we, we got uh, Red, Alerts, Red Alert coming in. You can see. Yeah, it's struggling a bit. Yeah, a lot of drop rate. It's just, it's just my internet. I can't do anything about it. Sorry, guys. It's just Australian internet. Take it up with the Prime Minister. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just labor. I have to re recruit them. Yeah, I've got to fight this manually. Lagging big time? I know. I can't do anything about it. It's not the computer, it's the internet. This is going to happen even when I get a new computer. I just want you guys to understand that getting a new computer won't stop that. There have been a couple of streams here and there where we don't have any internet issues, but I can't do anything about it. it honestly, this is one of the reasons why I stopped streaming full time. It's just such a pain. I just live in a shit country for streaming. Can't do anything about it. Sick of, just sick of it. Can't do anything about it. All right, move on. People say get Starlink, but I hear that Starlink is actually really shit for um, streaming. So that's not a solution. Let's go wait for reinforcements. It didn't end, I'm still here. Alright, let's go do the heal. All right, in order to make this auto resolve, sorry, in order to do better than auto resolve, we need to make sure that 
certain units don't participate in this battle at all. Really badly damaged laborers. So anything that's like maybe under 50 entities? Or 50 and under? Yeah, that's okay there. So these ones here, just uh, just put them away. You know what? I reckon we could just send the heroes in. The lord's gone. These guys here are really strong. Let's just go in. Plus I got this as well. Have you ever considered moving countries? Maybe even just to New Zealand? Uh, no, because... Why would I, like, why would I uproot my family from our home just so I can have a career that I don't want anymore? I actually don't want to have a career as a streamer. I don't like it anymore. Uh, Mom Chill, dear love, did a BGN5 super chat saying corn dog. Yep, thanks, dude, thanks, super chat. Yeah, like, if this was, if this was a dream job, maybe I'd consider it. But under no circumstance do I actually want to be a streamer anymore. <laughs> I don't want to do it. So, No. The the idea for me to move to another country, it will never happen. I'm not moving away from my family to have a career that I don't want. No way in hell. Alright, let's actually get you to land first. So I'll send them in. If it starts to go pear-shaped, I'll bring in the reinforcements. It'll take them a while to kill them. If I use magical attacks, then they'll rush at our, our guys here. Like, I don't mind streaming every now and again, but yeah, I am absolutely not going to move countries just so I can have better internet. No way. If you don't want to watch to be a streamer, is there another career you wish to switch to? Um, well, I don't know. I'm looking into it at the moment. We're seeing. There is a real possibility that I'll one day stop doing YouTube. But it's got to wait for good opportunities to show up. Currently not seeing anything. But yeah, like I said, I'm not investing into it. It's sustainable for now, but I'm sure as shit not moving to another country. It's absolutely ridiculous. Remember a few years ago, I mean like back in 2016, I actually considered moving to the UK. But then I went to the UK and I visited Creative Assembly, and then I was like, nah, I'm not doing that. Nardo did a Five Euro Super Chat. Hi Legion, thank you for the entertainment. Any suggestions for France campaign in Warhammer 2? I would like to save all the electors. Pardon the bad English. Any suggestions for a France campaign in Warhammer 2? I don't have any suggestions, sorry. I'm not sure what you mean. Um, yeah, that's it's a it's tough to save all the elector counts. That's all I can say. You just gotta play it by ear. It's it's a very random campaign. used to live for this? Yes, but I don't anymore. I actually, like, I'll just be perfectly honest with you guys. I don't like being a streamer. I, I don't like it. <laughs> it's, it's a job. I don't enjoy it.
So like I said, I'm never in a million years going to move to another country just so I can get better internet. It's never going to happen. But yeah, don't worry about it. Look, it's not worth it's not worth the discuss um, the uh, discussion about it. I'm here for now. You know, we make the best of the situation. Uh, but yeah, just expecting me to move to another country is just an unreasonable expectation. It's ridiculous, utterly ridiculous. People have been saying it for years, but it's, it's never going to happen. What is it you don't like about being a streamer? Uh, it's exhausting. To, if you want to be successful, it's exhausting. Um, the money is good, but the dealing with the company, like Creative Assembly, it's the worst aspect of this job. It's the absolute worst. Um, I've succeeded in spite of Creative Assembly, not because of them. And you've got to deal with, a lot of times, some very angry people that are angry at you for what seems like very unfair reasons. It just it can be very un unenjoyable sometimes. Look, most of the time, it's fine. Play a campaign we want to play, not a big deal. But sometimes the internet's a bit choppy and people put in pretty insensitive uh, suggestions and they should just mind their own fucking business. And that, that really is the crux of streaming. People don't mind their own business. Let's just focus on playing the game and just stay out of my personal life. Alright, let's move back over here. We should be able to attack at least the camp over here next turn. But I need to get some more replenishment. Yeah, not that much replenishment there. I thought dealing with the chat's the worst part. It depends. Sometimes chat's really good. Sometimes chat just needs to mind their own fucking business. Like right now. And I gotta reel it in and say, you gotta stop. Why do you care what others say? Just do what you want. But I do exactly that. This is the thing. This is exactly what I'm talking about. I'm literally doing exactly what I want. I'm not caring what other people say. So, what you said doesn't make any sense. Alright, I'm just gonna focus on the game. Because chat's being shit. Alright, this guy needs to just move a little bit more over here. Yeah, it's kind of difficult when you've got a province. You've got four lords and you just kind of get stuck in this area. Alright, I'm going to take this guy off that mount. Oh, we've got Vegas, a few more of them. If I could just tidy this up a little bit. There we go, that's much better. Yeah, much better. Alright, I don't think I need to recruit any further because I think... Yeah, we've basically destroyed Greasers. He is begging me for peace. The gods fall 
Northman Kung. Yeah, I don't want an alliance with him. Let's see how much we can get for this. Eight grand. No, I'd rather just get rid of him. We've got to move on to... Greener pastures in this. Alright, I think we can rearrange this. Yeah, we've got enough labor. We could actually have surplus for the first time in a while. And then I've got a little bit of leftover, which I will sell it here. And here. Okay. So that one there. Good. And that one there. Cool. I like Conclave Influence. We've almost got enough for the next one that we need. Where's... No, Clan Krizzle's the one down there. I'm not trading with them. Alright. I got... I got a fair bit of raw materials. Let's see what we can best spend it on. So, 50 extra workload, and we can get 100 extra raw materials. Well, it's a pretty expensive building. Doesn't provide any extra money. Provides armaments as well. Yeah, that's not too bad. The Great Skull Lake's over here. We could build this for money. Get a little bit of extra cash. Alright, let's do that. Should probably build that public order building, but not right now. Okay, let's move on to the next turn. Okay, actually, we got the convoy to go. All right, is this guy ready to go yet? All right, he's fully recovered. Where do you want to go? Don't go. Actually, you should be safe to get to the Great Hall of Greasus now. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's no armies on the way. Uh, mm. Yeah, I don't need labor, so just I'm just getting the item because I haven't done this before. Alright, now we're good to move on. Yeah. Do I like Chorf's economy? Yes, I do like the management of the Chorf's economy. It's a good one. What will happen to Pharaoh when it's released? All people say it's trash game, AI map, Troy-like, and people don't care about it. Um, look, I can only make predictions. I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but looking at the data, this is kind of what I expect to happen. The game will launch. It will probably not reach the top 10 global seller list on Steam, which is a first for a Total War game not to do it, especially considering there are no major other competitors coming out at this moment. Um, so I don't think it's even going to make the top 10. Considering... I think he's going to declare war. Yep. Okay. So... I think the game will launch, and there will be a pretty small but dedicated group of people that will love the game and they will fervently defend it. They will post positive reviews of it on Steam and they will flood the forums and say how awesome it is and how everybody else is a hater or they love drama. Typical sort of thing. This is usually what happens with a Total War game. right? But it will be a fairly small number of people because the main thing that we can look at is the concurrent player numbers with Steam. I am predicting that the concurrent player numbers on day one will reach about ten to 15,000 at its peak, which would make it the, the lowest peak ever for a Total War game. The current lowest peak for a launch of a Total War game is Thrones of Britannia at 22,000, which decayed to nothing. Um, so I think it's going to have 15,000 to begin with, 
and then it will decay down to pretty much a thousand players within a, about a month. Basically, I kind of predict that on the first day of Pharaoh, the, on the 12th of October, that Total War Warhammer 3 will still have more concurrent players than Pharaoh. That's what I think. I could be completely wrong. It might have friggin' 200,000 concurrent players. It might be the greatest Total War game of all time. But the evidence isn't pointing to that being correct right now. Beast 1, one sorry, 1337 did a $5 super chat. Hi Legend, love you vids, keep them coming. Here's some coffee money. I first watched you row 1 multiplayer against, against Palm a long time ago. That was a very long time ago. Thanks super chat, appreciate it. Alright, if I go down here... We could end up getting screwed over by him. We gotta be careful there. That would have to be a factory if we wouldn't have any chance of defending against it. Military presence of five. So that means that there is a full stack in one of these settlements. Military presence of... F it could be at Shambletown for all we know. I could send Gordas to go and check. Thing is, I'll have extra upkeep cost on this, but it might be worth it. Because these guys here should be able to take Amble Peak and Valley of Horns and Karak Krakaten. Maybe you should come down this way as well. Alright, let's send let's send Gordos to go and have a look. See? Oh yeah. This is why you got a scout. <laughs> Alright, come back, Gordos. Alright, it's mostly trash, but we'll set up a trap for it. Okay, put this guy here, and they might be lured to force march over here, or they might just want to attack Great Halls of Greases. No. What? This has not anchor. The Barathun. Dumfoumancy. This guy here is not recruiting anything. I left that camp there, didn't I? Yeah, I'll need to sort that out at some point. Reek. I'm the one in charge round here. He's a rink. All right, I actually think we can split our forces here a bit. We can, there's no reason why we can't hit. I might be able to hit Amble Peak. It's it's a long shot. Well, I might be able to hit it. I'll I'll leave one of these guys here to hit Valley of Horns, just in case this doesn't work. Free slaves for the Chaos Empire? Yeah. Well, we'll see. Alright. Oh, I don't want to fight this battle manually. I'm just going to auto it. But you lost the labor! Yeah, fighting against ogres is not great for Chaos. But it's just about consolidating territory. Alright, cool. Go, go, go. I just wanted to see if we can reach here, which we can. Let's do it. Oof. Alexander Johansson did a NOK50 super chat. Hey legend, I will go take a shower now. Can you stop everything you're doing away from me? Clicks in advance. Sure, no problem. Okay, we'll just wait right here for you. <laughs> Thanks for super chat. Alright. No one tells a tyrant what to do. I reckon we'll have better order resolve if I just fuse all this. Let's just see how that says. Yeah, that's not better. Okay. Okay, because yeah, I kind of want to send... I want to take both of these this turn. I just don't want to fight that manually. I guess I don't have to. I could order myself to suck up the damage.
Yeah, alright. I'll just suck it up. It's fine. Alright, so we've already got a tower here. Let's put in a factory. Wish me luck, legend. I'm going to the army. All right, good luck, dude. Hope everything works out for you. All right, and this one is to force march over. Yep, that's fine. Cool. And we've already got a factory, so let's go with an outpost here. Okay. And then this guy here can just catch up. Cool. Alright, we're definitely gonna need to replace a lot of those casualties, but luckily, orc laborers are cheap. So, really easy to replace them. I take them so I can get more replenishment into this one. That's it. Cool, that works for me. Alright, we'll see if this trap here works for them. Depends on how many armies come up this way. Okay. Do you always go with 50-50 with Mines Outpost, or is there a better way? Um, there's lots of different ways you can go about it. I would say that there is no one way that is the optimal way to go about it, and you just have to go with what works for you. But I usually try to go for somewhat of a balance. Uh, if you go too many armaments, you will fuck up your raw materials, and then you won't be able to build anything. If you go too many raw materials, well then you won't have enough armaments. Speaking of which, we can definitely increase our capacity for this now. Hmm, need more. So that's, that's giving me access to nine. And that was all of my armaments. That's okay, it's, it's constantly increasing, we just gotta keep going with it. Right, I've got a fair bit of of this. Let's let's spend some. We don't need that there anymore, and we need more of this. Okay, and we need... No, no, just leave that one empty for now. Okay, that's fine. Just leave it all as it is. That's fine. So yeah, Greasus is, is pretty much finished. But now we move on to these guys. And they should provide a lot more influence. Alright, we've also got more Conclave influence we can spend. That's not too bad. That's pretty good as well. Conclave influence plus one for every factory settlement building. That's really good because I got quite a few of them. 
That'll give us a random bull centaur, maybe, every four turns. It's not too bad. That's a good one as well. That's a good one. Hmm. If we want to rush Conclave Influence, that one's the way to go. That will provide... Hang on, let's have a look. We currently have 30 per turn coming in at the moment. If we grab this... This hasn't updated. It'll update next turn. I guess. Because, yeah, it says Conclave Influence Plus 2. It just hasn't updated up here. Will a Koi be available for the next Hot Seat stream? I don't know. I haven't organized it that far just yet. Jonathan Lamb did a 24 dollar super chat. Just want to say thank you for the hot seats. I was able to find new streamers to watch. Is there another community event planned? Yes, there's one planning in the next two days. So it should be on the 5th. Uh, but we'll see how we go. Thanks, super chat. Alright. Let's move on. Yeah, we've got some leveling up to do. Hang on, I've got a commandment to put down. Uh, let's see, I think we'll go with... Yeah, just that one, it's fine. And we'll need to start accepting new labor. Okay, all good, let's move on. Seems like the internet stabilized itself a fair bit. We did lose quite a few viewers, which is always expected. People can't be expected to watch with choppy internet. This one makes streaming such a pain in the ass sometimes. Fucking hell. This is nothing I can do about it. What will be the next Hot Seat campaign? It's not set in stone just yet. I'm still figuring it out. Uh, yeah, this is fine. I could always use more trade agreements, but squeeze a little bit more out of them. Do you have any tips, suggestions for starting Daniel campaigns? It's the only campaign out of what I have that I really struggle with and I can't get good footing. Honestly, my recommendation is don't play Daniel. It's not a good campaign. I don't play that campaign, so I don't have any advice for it. Uh, our army should be at full strength, so this should be an easy order resolve. Yeah, I do not recommend the Daniel the Demon Prince campaign. And the thing is, if you want Creative Assembly to fix it, the best thing you can do is not play it, because then they'll... Because they've got stuff that, like, tracks what you're doing on your computer, and... Alright, well, they didn't didn't do what I want. Oh, I, I probably got discovered, that's why. Oh, shit. Oh, it's reached its destination. Um, best thing you can do is not play it, so that Creative Assembly will look at it and be like, oh, well, this one's not being played. Maybe we should um, update it a bit. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, my income jumped by a fair bit. That's good. I'd wither first. 
Aksuar Dugal! Zenshu Saru! Ranmakas! Never! Yeah, they're just looking for easy pickings. If I occupy this, they'll swarm the settlement. I just know it. But yeah, he got pulled out of ambush dance, so we just need to um, just need to try again, I think, and put this guy here in a more um, more dangerous position. Yeah, if this one comes and attacks him. That'll be just easy smash it. Hey Legend, can you do a challenge in which you have a max of 10 units in your army? No, I'm not going to do that because right now, right now is the worst time to be a Total War streamer. The worst. I don't, I've not, in my 10 years of live streaming, I've never known, not live streaming, 10 years of being on YouTube, there's never known a worse time to do it. Um, and so in order to be able to come here on a daily basis or a semi-daily basis, I have to do campaigns that I actually enjoy. And that sounds like not fun. So that's why I'm sort of not doing these sort of challenge campaigns is because right now it's just not fun to be a streamer. And the last thing I want to do is add not fun campaigns on top of that. It is the worst time in memory to be a Total War streamer. And I'm not I'm not the only one saying this. It's it's really tough because so many people are on the verge of quitting and our community is just getting smaller and smaller and it's so painful to see it. I'm doing everything I can, but it's it just takes so much energy out of me. Can you do it things are better? Uh, maybe, maybe. Look, I'll, I'll definitely do more challenge campaigns when things are better, but I don't know if I'll do that one. That doesn't really seem like fun. Let's just be careful. And I know that's not what people want to sit here, but it really, it really is the worst time right now to be a streamer. Like, the, yeah, it's just the worst time. Oh yeah, there we go. Plus 11 influence. That's good. That's good. That uh, increased it by more than a third. And as we get more factories, it'll increase it further. So that'll pay for itself in 15 turns. At, le at, uh, at most 15 turns. Alright, they're able to recruit okay units, nothing spectacular, but again, I gotta remember that there is actually a camp over here, we need to go and sort that out, that's gonna take a little bit of money, I'll just get another one of these um, grudge killers. No. Just got a whole bunch of this to just swarm it at it. Luke Wad did a ten dollar super chat. Gotta love a live stream. Thanks, dude. I'm glad you like the live stream. Appreciate you. Okay, and we still need a bit more here. Much, that's fine. Another thing I could do as well is have this guy here occupy the settlement. Well, we'll see. Mackenzie O'Brien did a twenty dollars super chat. Hang in there. Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Like my solution was just stop live streaming, and I was absolutely fine with that. Just making videos is relatively easy, um, by comparison. But yeah, the way that um, Creative Assembly has sort of handled the community by and large has left everybody with such a bad taste in their mouth. There is quite a lot of, of streamers that are really quite on the verge of quitting. Because it's just so, sh so shit right now. So the hot seat campaigns are definitely helping a little bit. Some people are excited about that. So that's good. Ikit, this is a total war win. Well, I've already done that before, so I don't think I'm going to do that again. 
All right, Karakazorn, we can upgrade that. That's fine. Make an okay supplies with that. All right, Uzkalak finished. If we purchase iron, yeah, that would definitely would be good, except for the fact that I just don't really, I can't really justify the raw material. I need to get more raw materials. Which we're getting there. It's it's coming. All right, we'll see how that pays out. Who's Drachma and Corsa and Garni? Who's our roof, Rumlif? Uh, yeah, okay. Being friends with Drazoath is not bad. I'll do that. Is our set. Which Total War game is more fun to stream? Uh, I don't. I think it's across the board. I'm getting people that are playing, that are doing historical content, that are complaining as well. I don't, I don't, I don't think it's a particular game's problem. I think it's a, a wider community problem. There are very few people, look, at least the people that, maybe it's just the people who are having a hard time are specifically tr uh, talking to me. I hope that one goes around. Oh, did the, oh, freaking ambush failed again. Wami did a $10 super chat. Time for the age old question. If you had to give up one, what would it be? Pooping or peeing? Um, I'm not in the mood to answer that, but thanks for super chat. It's just so stupid. I'd give up pooping, whatever. Chat, did Legend say be checking out Pharaoh at all? Or if it was a total pass? I haven't kept up since he did that poll. It's a total pass. I'm definitely not covering it. Oh, he took one of my uh, positions. Okay, Burns of the Mall has been taken. Yeah, he just took this position off me, so yeah, armaments. The AI loves doing that. Whatever, it's not that big of a deal, because when you confederate them, you get all your seats back anyway. You could always just usurp it again in four turns, but it's okay. We're, we're pretty good for armaments. Another thing here is that they're not at war with each other, so if I go in and attack, they will... They'll come in to reinforce. And our army here is not really ready to deal with that. 50 Conclave influence now. What do you think CA will do now? I really don't know. I'm not in communication with CA at the moment, and they've got bigger things to worry about than, than talking to me about it. Um, but it really does depend on, like, it's a coin flip. Either they double down and just be even more greedy and, like, raise the price of Total War games while putting less quality in the games. Just basically keep making more Total War Pharaohs. Because um, Total War Pharaoh is most definitely just a reskin of Troy. It's it's a really low effort sort of... Um, I'm, I'm not trying to have a go at Sophia. They did the best they could with what they had. Um... But they just do more, basically, Warhammer reskins. Hopefully they don't go that route. Or they use this situation as a wake-up call. And they finally start putting out some quality. Fixing their damn code. Updating it to be you know, 2023 worthy. Not 2016 barely passable. Um, they start thinking more about making good games rather than chasing trends. CA love to chase trends, which is what got them into the situation in the first place. They chased the the looter shooter trend and it bit them in the ass. Sub Dugitash Dak So yeah, it, it just depends. I, I don't know which way they're gonna go about it. I just don't know. So the thing to note about this army is They've got loads of physical resistance and ward safe on the zombies. That the zombies might still lose to our orc laborers. 
Our guys should be able to beat that Strigoi. This guy's coming in as well. That would really help in that fight. Alright, here's what I think we should do. Try to lure this one out this way. So I'll go step back a little bit into Ambush Dance. I think they're going to try to go for the Great Hall of Greases. So I'm just going to step back a little bit. Have this one come in just a bit. So here. Because they're not going to be that scared. Actually, no. Have a single Lord. Just do, some, just do a bit of basic recruitment, though. And who knows, maybe this guy will come in and attack uh, very stupidly and see how that goes. My biggest concern is that there's going to be shitloads of troops down this way. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. I'm going to occupy Grim Top. Oh, he built defenses here, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Should still be easier to overcome it. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to occupy the settlement, turn it into a factory. That way, if we get attacked, it'll be a minor settlement battle. Oh, wow. That was way better than I thought it was going to be. So let's turn that into a factory. Now, if they've got an army sitting around over here and they intend to besiege this settlement, then it would be in this one's best interest to hightail it out of here because he's not going to be able to beat that on his own. Do not mistake me for a fool. This is impudence. I will not. Actually, where's that potion of toughness? I think you're going to need it in the, in the next fight. And have we got any good weapons? Fences blade will be good. Okay. Yeah, you back off to here. And we've still got this guy over here. Moving in camp stance. Yeah, we've got to go take out this camp. Raiding us. That should be all that we need to take out that. That's not going to be a problem there. You could spend labor to rush the walls. We're probably not needed. Uh, let's have a look at how much surplus we've got. Yeah, look, I would do that if I had a huge surplus of labor, but since I don't, um, I would hamstring my, um, my uh, raw material economy. And right now, we kind of need that. I think, look, unless they send four full stacks at us, we should be able to hold it back. Because I can deny enemy reinforcements. So it should be fine. Okay, and... Uh, the army's in good shape. We've got some really good units in there. That's if they make that attack. There's no guarantees. So yeah, we've got Conclave Dominance. That's awesome. So for this one here, that'll give us an extra 10%, but I need to get 100 for that. Uh, what else is in here that could be of some use to us? That's not too bad. Alright, I think we're done with sorcery for now. That would be good for the centaurs, but it takes a bit to get there. Uh, I think that could serve us well. Let's go with that. That takes one turn. Okay, and we got a little bit that we can construct. Alright, at Uzkalak. Yeah, I wanted to build this. We need the, um... Hmm. Yeah. 
Just not yet. All right, let's let's move on. All right, I gotta send a convoy out. All right, that one is not in good shape. This one's in good shape. We'll send this one. And we've already gone here. Going down there would be a mistake. That would get us killed. Karaza Kara Oh no, it's Black Crag. We've already gone there. Grung Zint apparently is a good one. Yeah, and raw materials. Okay, that's what I need. Send them off. Cool. DJ Arthritis did a five dollar super chat. I know what it's like to see something you love in a state like what CA left it in. I was a Blizzard fan for a long time. Hope it works out. And thank you. No worries, dude. Yeah, I appreciate that. And I, I'm a, Bl I was a Blizzard fan as well. I've completely given up on Blizzard. I refuse to buy any more of the games. But yeah, it, it does really seem like it's going that way a little bit. And that's really unfortunate. But we'll see. We'll see. Who knows? Maybe, maybe the worst is behind us and the best is in front of us. That's what I hope. But oh man, it's been a rough two years. That's for sure. It's not what I expected. Everyone was like, just wait for Warhammer 3, it'll be the greatest time for your channel ever. Oh boy, <laughs> no it wasn't. Okay. What's the motivation behind upgrading settlements with empty build slots? Um, I don't know, I think it was just a mistake. Maybe I captured it at tier 2? But like, okay, so empty build slot here. If I build this, the problem there is it's draining my raw materials. So same thing here. And that just doesn't provide enough value. So I'm not leaving it empty because there's nothing I want to build. It's just because resources are kind of scarce and there's this other things that are a priority. Uh, we've already got plenty of... Yeah, you really don't want to just have no raw materials coming in. So it's just a little bit of an imbalance with some of the settlements, that's all. Is there a way to cheese the choo-choo trains like Yuan Bo? No. Not that I'm aware of. Maybe Wormy 3 can make a comeback? Uh, I, I think that it can make a comeback. It's been a... You never know. You never know. You never know. Hopefully Thrones of Decay will be good. Hopefully. But you know, this is what I'm kind of expecting. $25 DLC, three Legendary Lords. I think it'll have more hype than Shadows of Change. And I think what Creative Assembly is hoping is that people just sort of get used to the new price rather than um, bend to what we want. Creative Assembly very rarely bend to what we want. They usually, they go, here's the, here's the content, either you buy it or you don't. And because they have a monopoly, well, people buy it. All right, they didn't go for Grimtop anyway. Do I like Thrones of Britannia? I hate Thrones of Britannia. <laughs> I hate it. It's such rubbish. So, Thrones of Britannia is the game that got me blacklisted the first time. <laughs> But yeah, I really don't like Thrones of Britannia. I think it's incredibly boring. See, one of the problems with Thrones of Britannia is that it came out after Warhammer 2, but it uses old technology from Attila. So it's just not. I just didn't think it was an acceptable thing to do. Better more raw materials or more armaments. Better to have a balance between the two, that's all. You want to make sure that you've actually got a good amount of raw materials coming in, based on the amount of labor that you've got. Like if, you're, if you've got too much, um, too many mines, but not enough labor, well, what's the point of that? It's a waste. So we've been tittering around 90 to 100%, so maybe it could be a little bit more efficient. Um, but at the same time, you don't want to be making uh, so much um, Raw materials are making no armament, so it's just about it's a balancing act. You're never going to get it perfect, not unless you spend a lot of time like min maxing it, and can't be fucked. The campaign's not hard enough to need to do that. 
Thrones of Britannia came after Warhammer 2? Yeah, there were there were like bugs that Warhammer 2 had fixed that were reintroduced with Thrones of Britannia. And also Thrones of Britannia removed so many features that were like a mainstay of Total War. I made a video and this video got me blacklisted, um, among other things. Um But that was the catalyst. They there's no ambush battles, there's no fort battles, there were fort battles in Attila. Um, there's no navies in Thrones of Britannia, although your armies can fight land battles. So, the, yeah, the, your your armies can fight sea battles, but you don't actually have navies. Um, there was a whole bunch of things that were removed from the game, from Total War Attila, and they didn't really add much to it either. So, I was very unimpressed with Thrones of Britannia. I warned everyone uh, about purchasing it, and people basically took out their pitchforks and said, how dare you stand up to Creative Assembly and say that this game's trash? And so I got absolutely bloody destroyed because of Thrones of Britannia. In many ways, I thought to myself at the time, I shouldn't, I just shouldn't have told people. I should have just not made any videos on Thrones of Britannia and said, fuck them. Let them figure it out for themselves. Let them buy this game and figure it out. But people don't like to hear bad news. They really don't. And we're seeing it again with Pharaoh. This is the thing. We are repeating history. It's the exact same thing. You've got a watered down game that, that um, admittedly, Sophia's doing the best they can, right? It's just that the higher ups are giving them no budget, not enough time. Working with old technology, they just it's it's breaking apart the seams. Um, the Total War engine, and we're going to see the exact same. It's going to be the exact repeat of history. I don't know why Creative Assembly thought to themselves, "Hey, let's just do the same thing as we did with Thrones of Britannia, and let's expect a different result." They're going to get the exact same result. The game is going to come out, nobody's going to play it, and they're going to be left embarrassed by it. They thought that they could pull the wool over your eye again. It's bloody ridiculous. It wasn't even that long ago that they did Thrones of Britannia. It was only five years ago. Alright, I know that there's an army here in Ambush Dance. Alright, right, we need to stand in the middle here so that they don't... I could just sack the settlement, I suppose. Yeah, last thing we want is for this army to get, like, quite strong. I think we'll just go and sack it. Problem is, yeah, I know that there's, um... Vampires right there. It should, should be okay. Ooh, that's not a good sign. That's not a good sign. I might have to actually fight this manually. Oh, okay, I'm gonna Pyrrhic victory. Oh god. <laughs> oh no, that's not acceptable. Hmm, is it just a field battle? Why is the bounce of power? Oh, we lost a lot of my archers. No, oh, no, there they are. How can you not be excited by the photo mode? Yeah. Wild Bloods using laborers. It's all I've got available out here. I always I always just recruit whatever trash is available and just run with it. Look, it's only turn 26. And look how much territory we've got. We killed Greece, uh, killed Grimgore by turn 11. This is how I always play. I just recruit whatever's available and just rush. Um, you know, rather than sit around with two settlements until we've got a doom stack. I just do not think that's a boring way to play. Um, oh. 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 Oh, that's why that guy came out to assist. I didn't see him. Right. Okay, how about we transfer these over? Right. 
Tun! He's on Kazak Munger! That's why the odds are so bad. Right. Here's the thing. We get pretty good order resolves with this army. So I'm not even sure if I can win that. Because the only good unit I've got are the heroes and the granite guard. And I don't think that's going to be a kill for this entire army. This guy is too far away to get there to reinforce. I got no more regiments of renown that I can recruit. I've got mounts. No, not on that one. So I could use a Great Taurus. I don't really think that the Great Taurus is an amazing mount, though. Such a thing is impossible. Yeah, that guy is gonna die. This stream cut out early. Yeah, we had some pretty choppy internet. Mm. I can only send four armies in. No one tells what to do. I don't have any area of effect damage. Let me just see what I can do here. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. If I have... If I had this ability here, Blood and Fireborn... No, 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 not that one. Ah, oh, fuck. That one. That's the one I need. Damn it. I can't, I can't get it. Even if I had the influence, I can't take it. Because, yeah, that would allow us to bomb them like crazy. Because, yeah, I've got a death... Oh! I've got a death wizard. Why don't we switch it out for a metal wizard? Yeah, where's my death wizard? Is it this guy? Yeah, this guy here. Why don't we switch this one out for a metal wizard? Cowardly. <laughs> All right, this one here. Because I could use Searing Doom to just bomb the crap out of them constantly. Because I've got loads of magic. This one here. All it's got is Invocation of Nehek. He doesn't even have a Spellcaster. All we have to do is just get into a blob and just bomb. Alright, is there anything else in here that we could use? Maybe some Caravan items? Mm, let's see. A lot of them don't really do anything at this point. Bones of the Moor. That that's an awful item. That one. That's might as well not even have it. It's such rubbish. Tormentor sword. That's good. Give that. I think one of them's already got it. Yeah, that's fine. You have that. Helm of Discord. That'll be good. There's no reason why we can't have two helms of Discords active. Don't lose it. Okay, these items suck. Let's fuse it. Better than nothing. Okay, this one sucks. Hmm, that was that's a much better upgrade. And you'll need the potion of toughness of him. This item sucks. That item sucks as well, whatever. 
Uh, okay, okay, okay. Alright, I think I've done everything that I can here to prepare. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Yeah, that actually might not be too bad here. Drastrom. Anfa Grimazu. All right. Yeah. Okay. This is going to be a bit of a battle. Yeah. So I'm relying very heavily on my metal wizard to use up all this winds of magic here. If we have a look at him, it costs five winds of magic, which is not too bad. Hang on, I might be able to do one last thing. Let me just check. If there's anything in here that can help us in this battle, because yeah, the odds, it's like, it's just so close. That's not going to work because I'm in friendly territory. Blood and Fireborn. That's pretty good. Yeah, we're not going to get any of this one. Doom of Hushwood's good, but there's no way of getting to that right now. There's this one here, Wrath of Tsar. It's, that's not super powerful though. Blood and Fireborn, because I'm pretty close to getting it. I just got to sell a few... This will, Well, I'll probably get a lot of labor from winning the battle, so let's just do it. So that's bad for materials, but if I win, it'll be fine. <laughs> so we'll grab Blood and Fireborn. That way we got a summon to help us out. And yeah, we'll see how that goes. Alright, let's do this. Are there any upgrades from armaments you can put on? Not for laborers, no. Best thing for us to do, I think, would be to fight in the forest, because all of the ogres will not fight as well there. It would also be good if we could fight the ogres first, but they'll probably wait for their reinforcements. Ah, oh, right, but it'll also make our archers fight like shit. Okay, hang on. Uh, that's an okay spot over here, as long as we can actually stand there. Yeah. Okay. The spot over here, bit of a choke point. All right, this is where we make our stand. It's, just, it's very close to the edge. Wasn't again, so it's that uh, one as well. Okay. Try to cram our units into this gap here. <laughs> and we just have to really hope that they don't rout us. Costs are rising, but they had money to send a celebrity to Egypt to film an ad for Pharaoh. Well, yeah, well, the marketing... Here's the thing with Total War Pharaoh. The only way that they have any chance of selling it is to do marketing. Marketing has a, a good way of returning on their investment. It just depends. Like, good marketing is worth it, but... I don't know. You can only... I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, that's the cost are up. <laughs> also, what celebrity did they send to... Um, to... Uh, Egypt. 
It's a good thing they lack a lot of missile units. So our leadership here, oh, 57, oh god. Be able to harass them, that's good. This guy here to have the best fucking angle he's ever had of his stupid life. Like, there seems good. There's a bit of a high ground there. <laughs> Come on. Tighter! Alright. Let's go get their attention. Try to bring them in now. I don't think they've got any area of effect damage abilities. If they do, we're fucked. What are you doing? Get over here. Oh man. Imagine relying on this is a frontline 50 odd leadership. Oh god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You gonna have a good angle of fire? I think you're going to be better off over here, actually. Shit, these guys are going to bloody run away real bloody quick. Nice bubble canned orcs, yeah. It's a risk. It's a risk. No doubt about it. It's a risk. I'll do the best I can. That's not what I told you to shoot. What, of course, brings the second army? Mm, this is all he's got for this battle. I don't know what you mean. I'm not going to occupy the settlement. It's going to sack it. They were experienced, then maybe maybe you'd be fine. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I really don't care what we shoot. In fact, that's not a bad target there, because they've got no armor. And they're they're damage dealers, and that's what we really need to watch out for. Can't wait for you to win and the whole zombie army revives. Uh, well, we'll see. I'm really not confident here because this army is just low leadership going up against scary units. That's a big problem. Well, armor of contempt is definitely going to help. Cool, taking out one unit. That's that's good. It's better than nothing. I really 
really want to shoot Greasus. The fat bastard. Here he goes, fat shaming again. Alright, here they come. Here they come. This guy's got speed 92, speed 95. Okay, we need to, um... Need to run this... Ah, oh, shit. If I could just get rid of the particularly fast units. It doesn't really matter if this one gets caught, but don't run it into here, because I don't think it's going to be helpful. <laughs> Put them all on guard mode. You gotta love it. Turn it off, fire at will, and it went for it. Okay, also, these guys should maybe come out front. You stay back a little bit. Because they're really friggin' tanky, and they're not going to break. Yeah, bring these ones significantly out front to begin with. This is either going to be a spectacular victory or a complete fucking failure. <laughs> this is going to be funny or not. We'll see. So this one here did a good amount of damage. We do have a crown of command, but it's not a good item. Okay, maybe just hold your fire for a second there, that unit's dead. Alright, you need to, um, yeah, get in amongst them. Here we go. And so it begins. Alright, you may now fire at will. Okay, our guys here are getting oh, a fair bit of friendly fire. Not doing very much damage though. They're inflicting a ton of damage. They pushed us right back. Okay, I know who you need to shoot. Freaking Greasus. Same thing with you guys. Shoot Greasus. Ooh, 19 leadership. I don't think he's getting a good shot on Greasus. You guys only need to shoot him. Got this one, saving for a little bit later. We are doing so much friendly fire damage here. These these guys here, they're killing way too many of our own units. Need to fire further out that way. Yeah, we are doing so much can blunder buses. They can do so much damage, but at the same time... Come on, kill Greasus. Kill Greasus.
This one's already done. 20,000 in damage. These guys are having a hard time shooting. Just get... Get those ogres. Alright, time for one of these. GG. The orc laborers can't hold. They're not, they're not gonna win. They're falling to pieces. They're about to rout on mass. We might have even been better, not even to have had them at all. <laughs> There's nothing I can do to hold their lead. Hang on, this might help a little bit. Do you know what the funny thing is here? Even if we win, it'll be fine because we're going to dish out so much damage to them, we're barely going to take any damage. So even if we lose, I mean. Even if they win. It's actually such a clusterfuck that they're so stuck that they can't run away properly. <laughs> Just keep getting friendly fire. Just keep shooting. Just keep shooting. Oh my god. Could you move back to about. Oh shit. Dumb left players these ways. Look at this one. 41,000 in damage. But look at our generals, they just don't take damage. This is laborers. Need a big one. Look at how many kills he's got. Yes, kill Greases, kill Greases. Come on, quick, 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 kill him. Yes! You fat piece of shit. I think I might actually win. Like, a shitload of our guys ran, but look, there's not that much left. Despite the fact that 90% of my army ran away at pretty much the beginning. I'm gonna win! Five hundred kills with this one.
You leave, leave the. No, you're ready. But this damn Strigoi here causing me problems. Oh, he's going straight for the blunderbusses there. Hey, look at this one here. They, they did a good job. Well, I think that worked out pretty well. Look at them, they barely took any damage at all. I didn't really take many casualties. They just they just ran away because they've got no leadership, especially in very hard battle difficulty. But they were so crammed together that I just needed them to hold long enough to get those spells in, and it actually worked. So definitely a better result than auto resolve because I fought it manually, so I didn't lose off my bloody army. Wolfpole chucking in a hundred euro super chat. Damn, dude, you're um, so generous these days. Really appreciate it. <laughs> hundred eighty kills with the orc laborer. Yeah, that's the one that stayed. It was probably mostly zombies though. The rest of them ran away. Oh, so much for the whole army coming back. But yeah, we should definitely sack it. You're gonna get eaten, thief. Oh, I think that was from the fusions. Okay. That showed them. Uh, you should move out of there. But yeah, metal magic. Did you see how much damage you did? Good thing I switched out that death wizard. Stupid, shitty death magic. Well. Let's get more. <laughs> what else can you do? Get more. Alright. Let's have a look at them. Their strength ranking is still equal to ours. We should definitely make this a factory. Give us defensibility. Oh, we got plenty of labor out of it, so we can rearrange this a fair bit. Still going to be in a little bit of labor debt, but that's okay. Ninety-two percent. That's not too bad. See, so yeah, they can't reach Grim Top this turn. Yeah. I think I'm going to need to put a Lord here. Is there any available? Nah, 
nothing there that I want. Let's get one of my grudge killers. Okay, that's fine. Alright, at Grimtop, let's upgrade this to the next level, because that'll give us more defenses. And if they... See, they can't reach us... Oh, actually, no. They might be able to reach us because of that. Have I got any more Regiment of Renown? Probably not. Oh, I do. Yeah, they've got the extra campaign movement range follow-up, right. Oh, shh. Oh, man, I mainly... Well, I mean, it's mostly just zombies. That guy there might actually be able to reach us. I didn't even think about that. Because, yeah, he's using up 25% of his movement range. It just depends if that other 25% equals this. It might. I mean, that guy there will kill shitloads. But if we have a look inside the... I think I need to I need to rush this right now. Because that'll, that'll um, give us a whole bunch of units really quick. I think I may have fucked up. Uh, what province is this called? This is called the Ivory Road. How many do we need? 500, okay. Gave us one additional unit, but that'll allow us to build this. I need some money though. And that will just require 200. And that there gives us an extra Chaos Dwarf Warrior. Yeah. That's something that we could at least work with. Oh, do you know what else we should really have? I know I just recruited this dude. We need a metal wizard, but I'm out of money. I need money right now. I need a metal wizard. What? Noska. Yeah. Who? Bring death. Must face. Man, he really wants peace. Problems go into my gut. Hang on. What if I do this? Oh, no, he won't do it. Hang on, what if I did something s uh, really silly, like, give him the Great Halls of Greasus back? He doesn't even want it, really. The over -tyrant. Can you recycle items? That's a poor way to make money. It's not a, not a good way. What was I doing again? Oh, that's right, I need it. Now, how much do I need for the Metal Wizard? 1,500. Alright, you can stop recruiting that. I'm sure I can just cancel something somewhere. Yeah, that's not urgent. There we go. And you'll be able to resume your recruiting that. Whoops, wrong one. Alright, if they attack, we, sh we should be able to manage. It just depends on how much they send at us. Like, if this one manages to make it all the way up there, which I doubt it will, that would be quite a problem. In fact, it might be better to look at the recruit here. Alright, and let's move on. Alright, 
technologies. We were going through the military one, so I think we just got mandatory service. Yeah, that'll be good. Let's move on. I don't think these guys here are going to get attacked, so it's all good. Don't forget to put items on Lord too. Nah, they'll be fine. Or not, we'll see. Because if he dies, we lose the items. Let's just see what happens. Alright, they didn't make the attack. It's all good. It's all good. Prepared for nothing. Well, maybe they didn't make the attack because we prepared. They used up a lot of our labor, though. But luckily, the undead actually make quite a lot of labor for us. My army, if I'm not mistaken... Oh no, they're fine, they're fine, so take the shortcut. That'd be easier to resolve, right? Yeah, no problem. Take them out. Good, need the labor. Been running a little bit short. Short? What's this? No. Oh no! No! Oh no! Eight turns? <laughs> no! No, look at... Just throw the raw materials at it. Safety equipment. Getting 500 raw materials isn't that hard, but five public order can derail me. Do you know what's funny is that this army here might just be able to beat that. Yep. Oh no! Hmm. <laughs> Thirty six leadership. Let me have a look at the map. I actually think that the laborers don't help in this situation at all. It might be better to not even use them because of what they did in the previous battle. Noah Smith, the attendant of chat, you're the best legend. I watch your videos more than I play the games. <laughs> no worries, dude. I appreciate that. Thanks for super chat. Uh, I mean, this guy here will... I'm only worried about these ones, really. Because we'll use magic to bomb all this. And I do have blood and fireborn. Okay, I got an idea. I need to need to shift some stuff out. You need a helm of discord and a talisman of preservation. Luckily, I got two. You need a helm of discord and a no. The other one should get the tormentor sword. No, you should get the tormentor sword. And the other talisman of preservation. And you should get the fences blade. Mm. 
And you might as well go and grab the Crown of Skulls. Okay, that'll help you out a bit. Because he can't equip it. Yeah, no, he can't get it. Mm, okay. The horrors will scare the laborers off? Oh yeah, I am aware of that. But you know what? They can't scare off if we never send them into battle. I'm only going to use these three units. <laughs> We're just, I'm just going to hide the laborers. They're just here for balance of power. And I expect the immortals to hold the line against all of that. So, if the immortals can just hold against the, um, the crypt horrors... Zombies will be torn to pieces by Searing Doom. And this guy here, he'll, he'll kill the these guys. That guy's not going to get into melee, low-level hero. The Banshee's a little bit of a concern. So yeah, as for the laborers, just fucking just stay out of it, you dumb freaking shits. Stay out of it. Nasal <laughs> banners? Nah, this is not gonna make any difference. This is where we. It'll be fine. With 105 leadership. Oh, look at this, they cannot die while this ability is active, but it's like... Okay, no, that's fine. We've also got this, and this. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna get a shot in, just, just chill. Okay, the Banshee could do a lot of damage. Oh, I forgot to put the Potion of Toughness on you. Oh yeah, look at them fuck up that Banshee. Nice. <laughs> oh, they freaking do more. It's going to do much? Probably not. Once we get rid of the horrors, there's nothing else to be worried about. Oh, 
So far so good, I think. What's going on with this guy? How did he take so much damage? Must have miscast it or something. Mm, I'm a bit of damage to myself. I gotta be a bit more careful. Yeah, he is overcasting Invocation of Nehek. Okay. Hmm, I don't have any good casts. I'm doing more damage to myself if I'm not careful. It's not stupid of them to do this, because I just bomb them, otherwise. I just bomb them anyway. They're too slow to be able to dodge it. Oh, actually, this speed's pretty good because they're. Ghost zombies. Not quick enough though. Oh look, they sent their lord in to fight. Banshee's gone. Yeah, it's over. It's over, they can't win. All they've got left are zombies. What are they going to do to the immortals? Eleven casualties. Ten casualties. That's weird. How would you rate the bull centaur heroes? Yeah, they're really good. Yeah. Look at this one. Five hundred and seventy-two kills. Took a little bit of damage though. How do you do this stuff, man? Off my ass off? Oh, I just, you know, you gotta understand how things work. Once you, once you understand how the game works, you can get a feel for these sort of things. Grimgore's Immortals or these Immortals? Yeah, there's the Immortals and then there's the Immortals. These are the immortals. Oh, what? Give me more labor. <laughs> Just to give me heaps. All oh, those zombies. So, Gorst is now not looking so crash hot. That's good. Such a thing is impossible. All right, that looks like Hillman Ghost there. 
Cool. Well, we seem to have things pretty much under control here. So, turn 27, we have 22 settlements. We are pretty secure on all fronts except for the south, which is what we're working on anyway. We are gaining heaps of Conclave influence. Hillman Gorse is... It, it's only a matter of time before he's destroyed. And look, you've got... You've got a friend coming in this way. All we have to do is hold Hillman Gorse back. And then... It's just, yeah, it's just a matter of time before he gets destroyed. Drazawath's coming in. So we're going to call it a day now. We're right on six hours. I need to take a break because I'm exhausted. And let's go chuck our host over someone. Yeah, appreciate all the support today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this campaign. I did. There's a bit of a shit moment in the middle where people were just not giving me a break, asking me personal questions. All right, let's chuck the host over to slightly obnoxious Kiwi, who is currently doing a. He's also doing Astrogoth Iron Hand, and he is on turn thirty-six. I'm just having a quick look. So he's on turn 36, I'm on turn 27. I'm just comparing, right? So he is gaining 350 materials per turn. That's more than me. He's gaining 228 armaments. I'm getting more. He's got 21 Conclave influence coming per turn. I got 54 coming in. Anyway, I'm going to chuck the host over to him. Go and show him some support. He's a good dude. And I'm going to go get some rest. Um, in two days' time, there will be a hot seat campaign, I think. Unless, um, unless it goes horribly wrong. Yep, I will see you guys in the next day or so. Really appreciate all the support, and I'll see you then. Later, guys. Bye.